Okay, you guys, let me know if it's... Sorry. I've done this twice. <laughs> let me know if you can see me clearly now. Okay, all right. Uh, I've struggled. I'm stressed. I'm stressed though. I'm using my laptop as my viewfinder, kind of, so I can see. Sorry, I'm sweating because of the stress. Hi guys, hello, 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 hello. Sorry, actually, let me share this video because the link I put now will be another link. It won't be co the current link. It will not be the correct link, rather. Live now, so let me just share. Hi, Oi. Sorry, everybody that was here before, please come back. <laughs> okay, posted. Uh, let me share it on Instagram actually, because I shared it on Instagram as well. So I think I even need to delete that link on Instagram. Ah. Uh, Hi, 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 hi everyone. Sorry, oh, the stress I put you guys through. I'm sure it's not funny. You guys, I don't tire. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm here. Oh. I'm here. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I just had to share the video with Instagram people. I'm here and I want us to cook, but let's just chill and gist for a bit before we go on to cooking. Is anybody there? Just say hello. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the breaking transmission. Sorry for the several interruptions. I'm back. If you can hear my voice, let me know, please. I just really don't even take light safe on top of all this. Good. Hey, guys. Hey, fam. Hello. Hi Vivian, thank you. Hi guys. Hi, please thumbs up this video. It's been a while that I did a live and I really wanted to cook. I'm craving pepper soup. So I said, why don't I cook and take you guys along with me as I do all of that. So yeah, and we just a little bit. What's popping? Hello, Abiodun. Hi guys. Hello. How y'all doing? Tell me how you guys have been now. It's been a minute since we've caught up face to face. <laughs> face to face like this. How far? We I mean, have been fine you now. I've been feeling, I don't even know. I've been feeling a bit, um, a bit down. I think this thing is too tight. Wait, let me add it. <laughs> Did you see how I fell off? <laughs> oh my God. Is this headband that they used to tie a wig? And I just felt like tying my hair to give it structure. And it just fell up. Hi, Harriet. Love from Zambia. How are you doing? Let me type back. Zambia. I really wish... I want to travel to a lot of African countries. Zambia, Gambia, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa. Those are the countries on my list for now. So, yes, I'm excited to go to Zambia very soon. Um, it's been a lot in Nigeria, yes, back-to-back -back stories, tragedy, tragedy upon tragedy. But if you were part of the Hallelujah Challenge uh, yesterday, Hallelujah Festival, you see that I know that God is doing a lot of good things in Nigeria. It will just, it will soon come, it will soon come to fruition. So let's just keep having faith in Nigeria, let's keep having hope and all of that. So, yeah, what's up guys? Uh... Okay. Ah, so yes, I was talking about me feeling some kind of way. I've been having a bit of mommy guilt <laughs> because I've been so busy at work lately and it has affected my, I don't know, feeling like I'm not being present for my kids enough. I was talking about it recently that, you know, I needed some encouragement because I just feel like ugh, I'm just doing I'm just doing work I'm just doing YouTube I'm just doing other things and yes I have caregivers I have people that take care of my kids but then ugh, some days you're just like 
it's not it's not adding up god like you wish you were there for homework you wish you were there for a lot of other things and you're not there so just having a lot of mommy guilt i will give you guys just uh, i was going to do it in a video a separate video but maybe i'll talk about it here as we are cooking so i just want to, a few more people to get here then we can just start cooking and all of that so uh, let me say hello to annie's insights hi annie's insights hi for life esther she says i'm here for the pepper soup <laughs> yes me too i'm making fresh pea pepper soup fresh fish pepper soup and this is uh Ye one day says hi hi Ye one day i love that name one day i've always loved it as a kid so yeah some gist before we start cooking so recently um my help wanted to braid my daughter's hair okay so i hope you guys can hear me if you can hear me say say so please hi giwa is it giwa or jiwa i think it's giwa hi giwa hey how are you um so um they wanted to braid their hair and they asked me actually and i was like okay but um i usually do conro um for my kids right i usually i usually do conro for my kids but their hair is very soft i don't know if you guys know my hair is a very soft um, texture so it doesn't last and so they wanted to use a bit of attachment for the hair and then they now they normally what i expected them to do was to use a bit of it and conroe the hair but by the time my husband came back i was in the parlor i was in the living room doing the work like regular work and my husband came back and saw that um they were doing bob mali that's one one single braids for my daughter that is not yet two years old so he came he got a bit of he got a bit upset and was like oh this hair is too mature for them for her rather that they should take it out but when i now rushed to the room to see what was happening they had already gone halfway or more than halfway so i felt like oh gosh like it's not fair on the child to take it out because they've already gone like up to this point it just remained like maybe 10 in front and stuff so it doesn't make sense to take it out and then put her under pressure again. Let's just leave it like, like a week. After a week, we'll take it out. We'll loosen the hair. And so, yes, if you're just joining, I'm talking about mommy guilt and what happened recently that made me really feel guilty. Because I was busy, I wasn't paying attention to the hair. Normally, I wouldn't sit down with them. In fact, before now, I nobody else touched my kid's hair. It was just me. But I've been so busy that I kind of delegated like hair conroing to people I know. Anyway, the point is that they did the hair, they did the single braid, and I was like, okay, it's it's not nice. I, I felt like it wasn't nice because the girl, she's supposed to be baby. You guys have seen Lily Jane on my channel. She's a baby. So she doesn't need to do that kind of mature hairstyle. But anyway, I had to go to uh, uh, evening service to church. So after work, I made sure the dinner was sorted, and then I went to church, right? And halfway through, my husband starts calling me that, oh, your daughter is crying because they usually go to bed by 8 p.m., and church is done by 8 p.m. So by the time I get home, it's like 8 15 8 10 8 15 my church is not far from the house she was like oh come back i don't know what they've done to the girl da, 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 da. she's crying that the hair is too tight and all of that and all that and all that so yo you guys i came back my daughter was hysterically crying but i was looking at the hair i was like this hair is not that tight like something must be going on and all of that but i just said okay you know what my husband was like okay tomorrow they must take out the hair they must loosen the hair he cannot he doesn't like the hairstyle he was even telling me we even got into a bit of an argument because of it because i felt like you know um i know best as i'm a mom i'm a woman i've done hair it's not painful she can she see they've already done it now no need to loosen it and all of that i wasn't kind of listening to what he was saying so long story short, to uh, the next morning, my daughter had fever. If you see this kind of fever, fever that you know somebody's going through something, and I'm like, where is it coming from? You know, it didn't immediately occur to me that it was the hair that was causing it. I didn't know. So anyway, um, she was having fever. So we did the cold compress, gave her some paracetamol because she didn't show any other symptoms apart from the fever, right? So I wasn't really sure what exactly was going on. And then, you know, the next day, I thought it would come down. After she took the paracetamol, it actually came down. I thought that would be fine, that it would be okay. My sisters and brothers, the only brother is here. Next thing you know, as my husband carried her from her crib in the next morning, that Sunday morning leading to me going to church. In fact, I was supposed to be the one to lead prayers in church. I was once supposed to do Sunday school. I was supposed to teach, teach students from the school that Sunday, teach teenagers from the school. So I was getting ready to go to church, and I was editing a video. Sometimes eh, on Sundays, weekends are so busy for me. So my Sunday upload is usually me editing like 4 a.m. to like 6 a.m. or something, uploading it, then coming back. When I come back home, I don't do the thumbnail and long story is that as we saw my daughter that morning her whole the side of her head here had peeled you guys there was i was seeing the flesh of her skin her ear like this all the way down all the way like this 
had peeled and all that. I just lost it. I started screaming. What did you guys do to my daughter? What happened to my daughter? Da -da 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 -da. Apparently, they went to use hot water to try and twist the ends of these braids. And I told them not to do so. They tried to twist the end of the braids and in the process, the steam, because they claim, they claim because we were not there. I wasn't there, hobby wasn't there. So what they are, what me I'm thinking, either they pour the water and you know on her, hot water on her, or the steam, because of how tender her skin is and how close her head would have been to the bucket or whatever they were using to, you know, soften the attachment. You guys, as women, we know how it, do, it works now, all of that. They burnt my daughter's face and her head. I cried though. Hmm. I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I was so frustrated. I was like, is it because I've been busy? Is it because of church? Is it because of work? Like ordinarily, I wouldn't give anybody any uh, my daughter's hair to do. Like I, I'm usually the one that you know is responsible for washing, but responsible for detangling and all of that. But ah man, for the past two months, you guys, even you, I've thought about it. How busy I got at work, promotion and all of that. And then the fact that my husband told me to take it out the, that day and I was still disagreeing with him. So a lot of pressure was on me. So for the past couple of days, right, I have been... This thing happened not too long ago. It happened on last week. Last week, Wednesday? So it's not long ago. It's not long ago at all. So I was just like... Ah, how the, me that I'm always preaching balance. <laughs> I'm always preaching balancing, you know, family life and everything. I was slacking. I really couldn't forgive myself. I was like, if I was at home, if I was paying my attention, if I wasn't working. So I had to talk to one of my mentors and she was like, first of all, you have to really forgive yourself as a mom that you're doing your best for you to be feeling this bad of, about what happened. Um, it means that you're a good mom because you're genuinely concerned, you're genuinely whatever, but you can't feel guilty because a lot of things will happen. You trusted these people. And the thing is that I can't even really get angry at these girls because, in fact, I'm angry, but I still have compassion because, like, yo, she was just, like, this was her first time breeding a child here. She didn't know, she didn't, didn't know. She, she has been begging me, crying. My sister was like, this, you need to let these people go. You need to let them go. So I don't know. Like, I have just been in that way. But anyway, my mentor was like, I need to forgive myself. I need to learn as a mother that things will happen. There will be accidents. And it just made me think about the recent thing with um, Davido and his son. Like, no matter how much safeguards you put in place, sometimes things will still happen beyond your control. Like, it made me shiver. Imagine if something worse had happened. And the fact is that my husband was in the living room, I was in church, so I wasn't even far away. And they would still say, where is the mother? Where was she when, when this thing was happening? Where was she when this was going on and all of that? So it's been a really roller, co it's been a roller coaster of a journey of of feelings of you know anxiety like anytime i look at her like my heart will be breaking anytime i look at the scar but thankfully children are very healthy <laughs> generally so their skin really heals quickly so um it has started maybe if i finish i'll show you guys let me look for let, hold don't worry let's finish maybe i'll show you guys what it looks like and you'll see later on but yeah it's already healing the flesh has started like covering and all of that but man man <laughs> i've learned a big lesson anyway 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 so i just wanted to let you, go, you guys know what my mindset has been and all of that in the past couple of weeks and yeah actually the last week or so so let's get cooking we're making fresh fish pepper soup let me bring out the fish from the fridge in a minute mm. so i don't know if you guys can see uh people are still reacting but yeah that's what happened to me so this is called abara fish it's called snapper fish it's one of the popular fishes in um port Harcourt in river state so this is abara and i've been marinating it i didn't want to wait till you guys till we went live to marinate this i decided to do it earlier and what i have here is yellow suka pepper okay with uh just a tiny bit like this size of ginger one garlic thingy I have a uh, Maggi one pot, Niger pot, Niger pot in here. I have salt in here. I have some crayfish in here. I have onions in here. So that is what I use to marinate the, I don't know if you guys can see, marinate the fish. I'm just going to put it in the pot now. Can you guys see the pots? I don't know. Let me see. I was, I'm going to put it in the pot now, then light the fire and start. The reason why you marinate your fish first is that fish, eh? Not all fish are the same. 
Yes, ginger and garlic. Pepper soup is not ordinary pepper soup. People just use the spice of the or the stock of the pepper soup to just to of the meat, whatever protein they are using. They use the stock alone. I mean, I don't agree with that. Sorry, I think that you need to do a lot more, okay, with pepper soup and not fish are all the same, especially when you're using fresh fish. Abara snapper does not accept spices like the way Titus or mackerel or all those regular fish will. You need a lot of love. You need to, you need a lot of love <laughs> for this fish, right? Because it's a big fish, it's a fleshy fish, so you need a lot for the seasoning to enter. So it's been marinating for like maybe an hour or so. I have my sweet potatoes here. They're already peeled because I didn't want to stress you guys. So they already put, I'm going to use sweet potatoes. I'm out of yam. I wanted to use yam. I'm actually craving yam. But I've not gone to my mother's house to go and cut yam. <laughs> I've not collected yam. Or I've not gone to collect yam. So, uh, yeah. And the one I bought, they already finished it in the house. So, uh, yes. Let me say hello to everybody on the channel. Uh, let me see. Hi, Gibbs. Oh, Gibbs is here. Hi, is there, um, where are you now? I will say London, but you're not in London. I forgot the name of this. Is it Salford? Hi, Salford. Um, hi, Vivian. Hi, Esther. Hi, Annie's Insights. Oh, sweet girl. Hi, Harriet loves cooking. Oh, we can't wait to have you over here. What is on the menu today? I would like to taste Nigerian food. Oh, pepper soup and sweet potatoes. That's what we're having. Um, okay, so I've said hello to everybody there. Titi. Jada, oh hi Jada, how are you? I've missed your your videos. I don't get your notification. I keep saying it, so sometimes I have to go and search for you to find your videos. Um, you guys, uh, let's not even talk about the burn and everything that happened. Like, let's just I'll show you guys. Sha boy, it's healing. So it's healing nicely right now. So hi Linda, hi Bucci, Bucci, I beg, how far? <laughs> Maybe you should come over and taste the pepper soup so that you tell them how far, how it really tastes. Um, hi Precious, hi Nazo, Nazo Peperepe, <laughs> hi Patience, how are you guys doing? So, the fish is on fire, I hope you guys can, maybe I should tilt the thing down a little bit, mm. okay, so the fish is on fire, I've put it in there with all the seasoning, marinating, everything that I used to marinate, I didn't put any other extra water, so it's just there like that. So I'm going to let it cook just slightly for a little bit before I add my potatoes. Potatoes cook really quickly, they cook faster than yams actually. And the way this potato is cut, I might even cut it smaller. But yeah, potatoes cook faster, so once I give it like maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes, this thing, did you see how that thing flew away? <laughs> Ah, let me get spoon. <laughs> yeah. So let me give it like five minutes to just simmer down, you know, before I now add my potatoes and then add some water and all of that, okay? Pepper soup is one of the fastest things to cook in Nigeria, to be honest with you. It's super, super fast and straightforward to the point but the thing is that a lot of people don't know that pepper soup is supposed to be medicinal so it's like a sweet potatoes nazo so it's like a um it's a broth it's supposed to be like you know how americans have chicken noodle soup uh, for when they have cold pepper soup is supposed to be that so if you just put ordinary this this thing, it's not giving it the medicine it's supposed to give okay so you have to do a lot to make it come out so let me just tilt my camera for you guys a little bit so see the fish this is called snapper abara fish it's very popular in river states it's a bit expensive so easy for when you want to seduce your husband do you understand <laughs> when you want to catch your you want your husband to be bringing out the cash that's when you bring it that when you want to cook it for that sugar daddy that's what you do when you want to cook for your father and your father-in-law this is fish you use we don't used to do titles you know how you remember people, people in the wherever people are coming from you'll be using croaker croaker is an abomination where i'm coming from <laughs> Ah, as a reverse babe, croaker is an abomination. You dare not use croaker. Well, people do it, sharp, but you dare not use croaker to be doing all these soups and everything. Sharp. So you either use barracuda or you use uh, snapper. Okay, so there's red snapper, regular snapper. So now that it's been in the pot for a little bit, I'm going to add my sweet potatoes. My hands are already washed, so 
I'm just going to, I think I should cut them into smaller sizes, actually. I don't want to hear say, I don't want to hear that it did not done, no. <laughs> it did not done. This one is okay. Yeah, so look at the sizes I'm doing. So this is thin enough. Because again, fish cooks quickly too. So you don't want your fish to be overdone, overcooked, and then the pepper soup is done already. If not, it's going to scatter. It's going to, what do they call it? They call it pieces. It's going to scatter in your, uh, it's going to scatter in your soup. So you need to make sure that the potatoes and whatever you're doing cooks the same time with your fish. Yeah. So I've done that. I was inspired to do this live by, um, what's her name? Ogom Siri. She cooked jollof rice live the other day. Okay, uh, and I was just like, oh, this is a good idea. But if, if you mess up, the mess up is also live. <laughs> so that's funny, but yeah. So, yes, Nazo said something. You can never eat cook and pepper soup with madness. It's only like in party jollof. I think these potatoes are okay. These ones are too much. So I'm just going to add a bit of water, a bit more water to the pepper soup. Just enough to cover the potatoes and, you know, to cook them. I'm going to add some onions. I already blended onions with the marinade, so I don't need so much onions, but this is just for extra razzmatazz, yeah, razzmatazz. And this is the pepper soup spice I use. I've talked about this before. Uh, what's it called? IDS Instant Pepper Soup Spice. I've, I've sung praises. Like, this is... The only pepper soup spice that tastes like reverse pepper soup blend. So the pepper soup blend is the nutmeg, the olden days, the what they call it, something calabash nutmeg, that stick thingy, uziza seeds, uda, and all of that is this right here. That's this is the closest to a typical do you get um pepper soup spice. So now I'm not adding anything yet because we have marinade, we have the pepper soup spice. So I'm just going to leave it to cook. Once it cooks well, I will now taste it and know whether I can add, I need to add any other thing. Like maybe I need to add salt or seasoning cubes. Or maybe actually I should just add a bit of seasoning cube because I only used one. So I'm adding one other Niger pot because things are tricky. Some food is it's easy to, what do they call it now? It's easy to add more spice than to redu redu reduce spice okay if it is too salty you, it's, it's a bit complicated to reduce the salt but if it's not salty enough you can always add more if it's not spicy enough you can always add more more spice so please don't uh, stir your pepper soup you just kind of move it a little bit not stirring move it a little bit so that the seasoning can go around so you don't want to mess your fish up okay we like to eat our fish whole in this side of Nigeria, even though you know for a fact that it might still scatter, but at least try your best, you know, not to mess it up and all that. Let me try and tilt my camera again, again to show you guys. So this is what the pot looks like. So this is the pepper soup spice floating with the water and with everything else. Okay. So there are other ways to make pepper soup. Like there are some times that I blend crayfish, oporo, I blend, I've only blended curry leaves. Me, I'm an experimenter. When one, I can just wake up one morning and just think of, oh, what would be good inside my pepper soup? What can I add? So one day I added curry leaves. I added, I blended curry leaves with tatashe, with regular scotch bonnet pepper, with oporo. Oporo is dried prawns with crayfish, uh, green spring onions, the green part, not the onion part, the green part, and, you know, put it inside my pepper soup. You guys, you guys. You guy, this thing was so delicious, but it was thicker. The more things you add to your pepper soup is makes it thicker. So you can always, you can almost be like that kind of pepper soup you can eat with gari or you can eat with any kind of swallow. So yeah, so it's on the fire now. So let's keep gisting. Let's check on whoever is here and what's happening on the chat. Okay. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I'm looking at my laptop because to catch up with you guys. Uh, hi, Suti. Tony and family vlog. Hi, how are you guys doing? um hi linda thank you for coming back i know you came the first time and the drama was much <laughs> trying to get the angles thank you for coming back i love croaker fry, uh, croaker fish fried and eating by itself yes 
I said that it's always good. It's not even that great, Sha, but it's okay for like fatty jollof or you know fried rice, all those kind of things, because it's a bit cheaper. But croco now is not getting expensive. Now everybody is eating hake because croco is expensive, um, mackerel is expensive, mullet, you don't even go near mullet, shiny nose. Do you guys know what this fish is? <laughs> Do you guys know what this fish uh, Vivian, I miss living in Port Harcourt. Honestly, the snapper fish goes well with native soup too. Yes, that's the best fish for native soup, uh, Vivian. It's the best fish. Like, it is amazing. By the time you now put your periwinkle, your ungolo, your ofingo, who knows what ofingo is? <laughs> All those men, they're men, they're inside. In fact, funny enough, I'm allergic to shrimp. But I can eat it when it's dried. But I can't eat it when it's fresh. So, but so I native soup, I don't eat it when they are prawns inside and all that. Anyway, uh, and that's it. Ah, hi, our Canada babe. What's popping, girl? <laughs> hi, it's Toronto. They say it's Toronto, it's not Toronto, not Toronto, like us local people. Toronto, how is Toronto treating you? Uh, she stopped tantalizing her taste, but sorry, yeah, sorry. So, the pepper soup is cooking and all that. So, let's just do you guys have anything you want to ask me? Do you have any questions for me? Do you have any topics you think Soti is good at? In fact, I have a topic for you, but let me find you guys' topic first before, you know, we go into it. Before we go into it. Yes, yeah, Stephanie says everything is expensive. I agree. Everything is expensive. Like, I was saying in one of my vlogs that I went to Next, Next Cash and Carry. Okay, so I typically spend like maybe 130k and that's buying everything. And obviously, it's not going to last me a month. We just say bulk shopping because, like, maybe the bag of rice or the things you have, they will last a month. Like, they will last to an extent, but they will not last the whole month. So I went there. The, the cost of what I buy, I bought half of what I usually buy. <laughs> I bought half of what I usually buy for the same price of what I buy for the entire month. So, yes, everything is crazy. And it's, the funny thing is not just in Nigeria. It's everywhere. My sister will tell you for free that in London... <clears throat> Oh, things I used to buy for one pound before, you can't buy it anymore. I mean, those days we used to buy three for something, eggs, like one pound. You can buy a pack of seeds for one pound twenty, one pound fifty. It's not like that again. So it's a lot. So, yeah, things are expensive. But the truth is that somehow you are being catered for, your needs are being taken care of. Like, you look at your salary and look at what you spend in a month, and it's not added. The math is not mathing. <laughs> so you're just like, ah, ah. God, I thank you for continuing to provide for me, despite the fact that everything around is going crazy. So God has been so good and faithful. Um, everything is expensive. Fine. Oh, I'm glad you're settling in well in that way. I'm really glad. Um, Aima, this is my friend. She said, <laughs> why do you love me so much? I don't know. Aima was my friend in law school, and she was my partner in a lot of things in law school even before law school so we came from england together sussex together and we have a nice i was even her bridesmaid i was the life of can you imagine i was the person in front of somebody's wedding the bridal party i was the one leading the bridal tree <laughs> it's only i am i've ever done that thing for i cannot do it for any other person that you'll be in front that's it like this they were like ah is it your wedding this one you have been doing like me that day is come out me that day is oh wow i i love you trust me even though we don't talk every day, but you still have a very special place in my heart. You guys, please thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends. Let them know we are cooking on the channel. We are cooking some pepper soup on the channel. It's boiling. So, <laughs> Lily Baby says, hi, Soti Mama, Soti Special. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Lily Baby. That's my daughter's name, Lily Jane. Lily Baby. You guys like the video. And yes, we have, I haven't wanted to talk about this. We have membership on the channel, but I've not really launched it because I want to make mine special. I don't want it to be a typical membership. I want to be writing love letters to you guys every month or maybe every two weeks, okay? So people who, who join my membership will get a personalized email from me. So I'm trying to work on that and some other perks that I want to do. So once I do that, you can also support me through membership, shoops, eh, shoops, shoops. Membership, super chat, super this, super that, all of that stuff. But yeah, I'll let you guys know about the membership soon. But you know, I don't know if you guys know that I'm also a writer. Do you guys know that? I have a, I saw that Nazor was writing a, a short story and I was in love. Nazor, that story, man, it used to be published. I did not expect you to uh, kill the man just like that. Now, how far? How far? <laughs> Why did you do that to us? Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, oh, Chiso, come and chop now. Sorry, no vex, no vex. 
Come and eat, come and eat, Chizo. Come and eat. The, my kitchen is smelling so nice. It's so nice. Uh, Lily, baby, thank you. She said she loves my personality. Do you know I don't get enough of that? You guys, I'm the life of the party. I'm a happy Pringle, okay? I'm a happy Pringle, okay? <laughs> I'm mean, actually a very fun person, but I can be serious a lot of the times because the oil on my head is hot. My head is always inclined, inclined to serious topics and serious conversations. And yeah, it was, yeah. So, so I can get a little passionate sometimes, but my heart is in the right place, okay? Yes, now, so the story was good. Like, I, that, when I said, where's the rest? I thought you were doing it day by day, posting now. So when I, you guys should check Nazo as a, first of all, she's a YouTuber. Secondly, she's a good writer. She has a writing channel and all that. Uh, so go and check. It's, it's really good. I enjoyed reading the story. Um, and Nazo's YouTube channel is, even though I don't comment all the time, but it's very authentic mom life in nigeria in, sorry in la nigerian mom nigerian woman navigating america in general so please check out her channel um uh what this person say ayuma says i love fish and mouth soup when ayuma if you send me the money for the ingredients no 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 i don't go quick cook market i will cook it for you <laughs> i'll cook it for you fish and mouth soup is a love language okay it's a labor of love it's a labor of love and all that so yeah please 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 if you want fish amounts to trust me just send me the in, uh, the ingredients i'll be the ingredient list send me the money and i'll cook it and yeah so that's it uh let me see uh i love the name sooty sprinkle thank you it was one of uh, my subscribers that gave me sooty sprinkle and she's so nice i actually I, I actually love you guys do you know that i feel like the genuine people that are subscribed to me are people that i would ordinarily in real life interact with you guys don't know how many people I've met in real life off of YouTube, okay? Like, I actually, actively, I just don't like to talk about it, you know? I don't like to publicize it before I start attracting some kind of people. I've met quite a lot of people in real life from YouTube. I even started a mentorship program. I've not told you guys about that, too, but I started a mentorship program from young girls, for young ladies, young women from 18 to 25. I don't even think I can take other people, Sha. But recently I started that and some of one of my people, <laughs> one of my mentees is from YouTube. So it's really amazing. YouTube is really changing the game. So the truth of the matter is that whatever you put inside something, you'll get. Okay, so let me just check the soup first, the pepper soup. Let me check the the handle is hot. Let me check the taste first, whether I need to add more salt or anything. Or even more pepper soup spice. Okay. So, of course, you guys know that fish pepper soup is going to be different from goat's meat and all that. And the color of your pepper soup is dependent on the ingredients that you add into it. So, let me, let me taste it. Mmm, so good. Mmm. But it needs a bit of salt. It's quite spicy. Mm, the yellow pepper came out. Ooh, I love that. I'm a spicy girl. So I'm just adding a little more um, a little more bit. Wow. A little more salt in it. Okay. Just slightly. The maggi is there. Everything is there. The fish taste is there as well. It just needs a little more salt. I don't have scent leaf. Can you imagine? I thought I had scent leaf at home. So I'm going to try something and see if I can use bitter leaf. And what would be different about it? Somebody asked me if I'm using white rice. No, I'm using sweet potatoes. I'm using sweet potatoes. Let me just show you guys a bit. I don't know. Sorry, maybe I should tilt the. Yeah, let me show you guys a bit. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So I'll let that cook a bit more. The sweet potatoes are almost done. Like they're already soft. When they start turning yellowish, oosh, wow. When they start turning yellow, they're almost done. And the fish is almost done as well. I wish I was timing this to tell you how fast this delicacy is. It doesn't even waste time at all. The food is done. Okay, let me catch up with the chat. Yeah, so somebody said bitter leaf goes well with pepper soup. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, 
I am myself a rich woman like you. Uh, hi, Yummy Kitchen Direct. Hi, Precious. Hi, hi, Precious. Yes, I've met you. We've, we've become friends already. No worry. YouTube has made me a lot of good friends. Um, yes, got me said Pepper Soup recently. It makes sense. So. Yes, the one with body odor. Oh my God, you guys, I took Jasmine to the market. <laughs> I took Jasmine to the market the other day. And I forgot that the market, they have a butcher close to it, like a slaughter area close to it. So that's how Jasmine, that used to see goats in her storybook, saw goats in real life. And this goat was dead. They already cut off the neck. Mommy, Jasmine, I said, she was like, Mommy, goat, mommy, goat is sleeping, goat is sleeping. I said, yes, thank God you don't say it's dead. <laughs> goat is sleeping. Then one man now came to buy the goats now. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, let me adjust my tripod. One man now tried to uh, buy the goat, was now touching the goat to say which part that they should collect because they cut for him. If you see, Jasmine wanted to beat this man, don't touch my goat, my goat is sleeping, my goat is sleeping. <laughs> she was not crying in the whole market. I said, please, 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 please come, let's go. <laughs> the man now said, you're shouting, you're shouting, if I give you this goat now, you eat. I said, Oga, why are you threatening my small daughter? I beg, <laughs> like, what is the issue here? What is the issue here? Oh, please. Like, it was so funny. It was such a funny experience. <laughs> was, this happened just, was it yesterday or day before yesterday? It just happened. I decided to go to the market on my way from school. So it made me, so, it made me laugh so much. Eh? The way she was crying, like, she wanted to roll on the floor. Like, like, oh my God, her goats. I don't know how bitter leaf would taste. So we are experimenting. I also have ugu, so I might just be safe and use ugu. I might not even use anything at all. Like, I wanted to buy stent leaf. But if I left the house, I know that I won't have time because I have somewhere I'm going to. So I kind of had to wait to do it. But let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, guys, please click on the like button. Like the video. Let me just go up a bit. Um, yes, Precious, I've met you. That's great. You're my kitchen. Uwa Uma. Uwa Uma. Is that... Please, how do you pronounce your name? Uwa Uma. Uwa Uma. Wama, okay. So, Tim Mama on the road to 1K, please. Okay, yes, you guys, Linda is also a Nigerian YouTuber in, uh, in India. I've never met a Nigerian that lives in India. And, yo, mm, mm, like, I know that about racism. I know about a lot of things. So, yeah, I just, I hope you're doing okay. But I watch some of her content. And please, you guys, just support her. You guys, just support her. You guys, I'm ready to support. I'll support anybody as long as I enjoy your content. So please, she has reached out to me before. I've shared her videos. Please just check her out and all of that stuff, okay? So Linda, Nair, she's in the chat now. Please just help her to get to 1K. Nah, somebody told me. I put, I put Uziza, not Uziza, Utazi in pepper soup before. It was bitter, but it was nice. Okay, I put like just a little bit, so not plenty, just sprinkle some razu dazzle on top, okay? So yeah, that's there. Um, first time hearing people like you guys who experiment together now, you will see my face and know you know that I don't know how to hide my expression. If you watch my Almala video, that first taste of the Almala, you guys will know that the tea was not making sense in the beginning. But it made sense at the end. So it is if, if, if the pepper soup is not making sense, you will know. Um okay, you guys are laughing at Jasmine, okay. Be better save some of the pepper soup. I will, I'll save for you, no problem. Uh, I've never tried ugu in pepper soup. It's okay. You know, ugu is a very neutral vegetable. Ugu meal, I think ugu lends itself more to texture as opposed to taste. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Ugu is just ugu. It's just a regular dandy fellow on the street. So when I added Ugu to, the same thing happened to me that I thought I had, I actually bought Scently, but it dried in my fridge. So that kind of thing will happen. And so I brought out Ugu because the look of pepper soup is the invitation to the pepper soup. Does that make sense? So when you see, they're like, okay, this thing looks like, eh, they say leave it side or whatever, you eat it down. You don't even know that it's just Ugu. So it's not bad. It actually makes sense. Yes, Ugu is tasteless. So it just, it's just the rasa, ra you understand that the razzle dazzle of the whole thing. Yes, uh, small utazi. Yes, I've tried it and it was good. Yeah. Uh, please don't use anything at all or use ugu instead of bitter leaf. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a small portion out and put the bitter leaf and see how it is. Then put the rest ugu because ugu is just basic. Yeah. So I love uziza. I love uziza. Oh, uziza is big. Uziza has magic to anything enters this. Uziza is me. I'm uziza. You don't spice off my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Uziza is so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, have you even tried, uh, what's this leaf now? 
What was this leaf? Somebody put Okazi in pepper soup. <laughs> One time like this, back when we were younger. No, I believe it. No, I've read it. Let me even give you guys this story time before we talk about this Okazi thing. But yes, one of my sisters put Okazi in pepper soup as far as any leaf goes. And I don't know why I would choose chewy hard Okazi. <laughs> hard Okazi inside pepper soup. It's not sweet at all. It does not make sense at all. Yes. Exactly. Uziza is very intense now. That's so sweet. Do you understand? I'm very intense now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okazi, okay, let me give you guys the gist. I don't remember this story time, okay. So, when I was younger now, my mom used to bake cakes, used to make pizza from scratch, she used to uh, make burgers from scratch. My mom was very, very, before she became so busy and she doesn't, she doesn't have stress again, she doesn't send our papa, she doesn't send us again. <laughs> but she used to be so um, industrious and that kind of Martha Stewart kind of mom, but a Nigerian version. So she used to bake cakes. So one day, and I was like, oh, it's her birthday. I don't have any money. Let me go and surprise her, okay? Like, what I'm doing today is that, I sometimes I need to check up whether the ingredients in the house are there. I'll just say I'm making something. And now use whatever is available to make the thing I want to make. And substitute and not substitute. So I said I was going to make cake for her. I saw all the steps that she has done. I've made it with her before. First arrow, there was no butter. There was no margarine. I said, okay. Butter, margarine, mayonnaise can go. We can, you know, make use of mayonnaise. It's the same consistency. It's the same... Do you understand? It's the same family. She used to use mayonnaise and do sandwich. So mayonnaise can work inside a, a cake. Okay? That was the first substitute. The next one was flour. How can you want to bake cake and there's no flour in the house? There was no flour in the house. That's how I went and got a semolina. I be semovita. I said, there's flour inside this thing. That we can still use that milk. <laughs> this is my experimenting with food did not start today. Let me tell you guys eh. I said we can still use it to make um make the cake. And I think did we have sugar? We didn't have sugar. We had very little. But everything was just one kind. But I was so determined because I was like, mommy has to be happy. She will come back. She will do this. She will do 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 do. We had eggs. I did everything. You guys actually make this and it came out in cake form. But you see the taste, you're not sure whether you're eating salad or you're eating egg or you're eating flour. It was just, but everybody ate it because Soti made it. So you guys, you never know. Bitter leaf can actually come out really nice. So, so have faith in this, okay? Have faith. So let me check it one more time. I'm sure it's already done. I'm sure it's almost done. Yeah, the potatoes are soft. So that's an inclination to know that it's time to turn off the heat. So let me, where is that spoon that I used to taste that time? Okay, see here. So let me do a taste test for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. I would have loved scent leaves. Scent leaves would have added something to this. But let me bring the bitter leaf, guys. Let, I'm really determined to try this bitter leaf thing, you guys. <laughs> I'm really determined. <laughs> so I have just a few. I'm going to turn down the heat now, actually, because it's almost done. I'm just going to use a bit. It's frozen, so I'm just going to use a bit, guys. I'm determined. <laughs> I'm determined. I'm just using this. So not much. Just small. And I am also going to... Um, I'm also, I think because it has even been in the fridge for a while, it has lost its taste. Yeah. Linda, the seed of Uziza is good, but the leaf and the combination of both of them together is amazing. So I've done that. Added just a tiny bit of the bitter leaf. I'm also going to add some scotch bonnet slices just to add for extra spice. Because after all, it's pepper soup. You get, so I'm just slicing that now to add to it. Uh, let me see who's here. Ah, my Barbados queen. You are little. You are coming late. So I've added the scotch bonnet. Mm, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to do two. Because my throat has even been acting one kind. As if I have a, an irritation in my throat. Hi. Hi, Abiyoju. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at me. 
me i'm a very dramatic person so can you guys see i don't know if you can see the pots so i added just the bitterly i didn't add much you guys so it's not really going to affect the taste like that i just need i need to see leaves inside my food actually so just that with the scotch bonnet leave it to cook for another like two minutes before i turn off the fire sorry i turn off the fire and then call it a day turn off the heat and then we'll just some more hi nemo yela nemo hi nemo and Nigerians, if they don't put scotch bonnet in your food, you've not started now. <laughs> you've not started. I used the yellow scotch bonnet in the beginning. So the red one is for added extra razzmatazz. But you guys know that, um, you guys know that when you cook with, when you cook pepper soup with any other thing inside it, the thing of the thing affects the pepper soup. So what am I saying? If I cook this pepper soup separate, then boil the potatoes separately, the taste would be very different from what I'm getting now. The sweetness of the potato is infusing into the pepper soup and the same thing with plantain i really don't like plantain pepper soup boiled together plantain is so sweet that by the time you boil it with the pepper soup it is sweet yeah you're not getting the pepper yet it just won't sort of it's just weird to me so i usually boil the plantain separately make the pepper soup paper they now pour the pepper soup on the plantain that way it's not infusing it's not cooking together but you see why yam pepper soup is so amazing is because yam is almost tasteless and yam is almost like a thickener as well so it doesn't uh affect the consistency right the taste and everything like that so that's that so let me get my plates ready that i will use to chow this let me look for plate. which plate should i ever use where's my big bowl <coughs> hold on guys okay this is my place that we bought together <laughs> so i've been using it on all my instagram content you guys please follow me on instagram guys this place costs money. <laughs> Let me just rinse it. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Yes, I love grinding red scotch bonnet peppers roughly and adding them to my pepper soup, mainly for aesthetic because it makes the food beautiful. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. But you know when you blend red scotch bonnet there eh, and... No, not blend. You pound it with crayfish and onions. See, eh? When I say that that thing is a marriage of uh, something, I don't even know how to explain it. See our new plate, though. <coughs> it's a marriage made in heaven. You won't understand me. So this is the fish. One of one piece of fish. And the, let me see if I can get some bitter leaf and add to it. And all of that stuff. I wish you guys were here to eat with me. Che. No vest, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, see, one even got pieces. Where's the bitter leaf? Let me get the bitter leaf. I've turned off the heat now, so it should be okay. Okay. So, here we are. Pepper soup. Nigerian pepper soup or saltis pepper soup. Mm, smells so good with bitter leaf and sweet potatoes and scotch bonnet. So it's like I should sit down and eat with you guys, Abby. I think that makes more sense. So let me get you guys closer to where I can sit. Just hold on, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Let me get you guys to sit with me. Can you see me? Okay, and then I'll get my smell of ice as usual. <laughs> I'm sitting in the kitchen where the freezer is. <laughs> Wait. Okay, yes, hold on. Just hold on though. Let me get my spoon of ice, my my spoon, everything. <laughs> you guys come and join me. Come and join me. Come and join me. Sorry, it has become a bit dark. No vex. Okay. If I don't drink smell of ice, have I really started my day? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, can you guys see me? Yes. Oh, smell of ice. Come and sponsor your girl, man. Come and sponsor your girl. <laughs> you guys should get your spoons. Come and join me, please. Come and join me. 
come and join me. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Let me get a um, paper towel <clears throat> so I can break the bones and stuff. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I was supposed to go somewhere today. But because of all that, um, yes, yeah, of Ice is my favorite drink, actually. My favorite alcoholic drink, then champagne, and then white wine. So you want to bribe me, <laughs> get me that. so good okay yeah but with all the mom guilt i couldn't um just leave like i've been really feeling weary to leave my kids alone after what i talked about yeah so i'm home with them they're actually taking the afternoon nap now so i hope everything is okay but yeah let me see there are any messages i'm coming my plate pressure please come <laughs> caroline Please wake up and have your hot food. <laughs> so let's taste. Let's do the taste test, guys. Let's do the taste test. Please make sure you like this video. Please, please, please. I said we cook. And I think the bitter leaf made it better, oh, guys. It actually made it better. There's a flavor that is coming in that was not there before the bitter leaf. And I think also the scotch bonnet. Because the yellow scotch bonnet has a different flavor from the red scotch bonnet so i think something is happening here that i'm enjoying something is happening it's good it's good trust me i will not lie to you guys <laughs> i won't lie to you guys <clears throat> so yeah i was saying that we should talk about something so you guys oh, i recently saw a post on instagram that a woman was begging her husband's side chick to please leave her alone. <clears throat> and I'm just like, you are crying on the internet and telling us online in-laws to come and beg your husband's side chick to leave your marriage alone. And man, I, I, hey, God have mercy. I never pray. I can never pray for that for anybody, like to, for that to happen to anybody, right? Like, I can't pray for infidelity. Like, it's one of my deal breakers. Like, straight up, I know they stay. Do you understand? God forbid that it will happen to me. But, <clears throat> now my smell, smell of ice is the water. But I like spicy food. But I have water too. But you're right. I have water as well. Mm. I'm near the fridge, so I have water. So, I was wondering, <clears throat> you guys, what will you do? Wait, oh. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me see what Nazo said. My mom told me the other day that their mothers believed that anyone who didn't blend their peppers smoothly wasn't a good cook because the eyes of the pepper will be open. In the... <laughs> there are some days when you're making ayamashi or you're making, um, not ayamashi or father sauce or you're making like a pepper sauce. I like the eyes, that's the seeds to be showing. Right, I really enjoy it that way. Anyway, uh, God forbid, that's the high. Exactly, God forbid. Like, shame, shame was catching me. See, I'm somebody that, my white, I don't like my white to be stained. I, I like to be, hello, do you understand? So, when I saw that post, and it was not the only one, there were several people talking about the fact that their husbands were cheating and they were begging the side chick to leave, to please leave them alone. And on the flip side, there was another one that was saying that her marriage is boring and her, her husband should please continue cheating. So that the marriage can be interesting. That when he was cheating, marriage was interesting. And I want us to talk about it. Let's break it down a little bit, okay? You guys, we have, we have, got, we have been here for is it up to an hour, almost an hour. So let's talk about this. While I enjoy pepper soup, are you guys jealous of me? Hey. This is so good. I'm all... You guys should try bitter leaf in your pepper soup. But don't put too much. I did not send you. Just put a little bit. What do you guys think? Me, I think it's madness. I'm, I am very... But the truth of the matter is that sometimes you don't even know when something happens to you, right? Sorry, these things you're seeing here, the children's cups that were washed. So I don't know, like, when something happens to you, I, I don't know, but just to me, I, he... <laughs> yes, now, so cheating is a deal breaker. I completely agree. But to go and now beg on the internet, or about some just internet, 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 <laughs> you go and beg. 
that say, Madam, please leave my husband alone for us. Hey, God. It can never be me. It can never be me. <laughs> I'm telling you for free now. It cannot be me. For free, for free, it cannot be me. But what do you guys think? Sorry. To go and beg. Ah, God, I beg. <laughs> some, people use, some people use the internet like a diary. Hmm. Honestly, but that is that what YouTubers do? When you vlog, it's like a diary now. So some things you are just putting on the internet. You shouldn't even put. There are some things that people post and I'm just like... And even me, sometimes I'm cautious, you know. Because you never know when somebody will go and dig it out. Now, when you see all these people that do reaction videos and do investigative journalism on Obasan just internet or YouTube, they will say, oh, the body language in that video, the way she kept herself, you know, the way her mouth was that time, the way she said this, the way she said... People are always going to remember. So, even when you make up with this, your husband, everybody will know that it's because you begged the side chick to leave you. <laughs> God. Hmm. I can never advise somebody that cheating is not a deal breaker. That is your personal two cents. I'm not among that story. I cannot, hmm, that storyline doesn't make sense for me. Because I feel like, I don't know, you know, it's very easy. Uh, this this fish, eh? you guys, the marinating of this fish was excellent. It was excellent, excellent. It's so good. I wish you guys, I don't wish I could say, okay, everybody have a piece, but no worries. Move to Potter Court and enjoy my food. It's so good. Mm. I can never beg the side to go with my husband. Never in my life. I will leave them or they deserve each other. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'll do. I filmed with Aku. Do you guys know Aku Beze on YouTube? Aku Beze is my family friend. We grew up together. I don't like fish skin. Do you guys like fish skin? I don't like fish skin. So, well, um, <coughs> we filmed together. And she asked me a question like this. I said, I don't go fit. Because <coughs> the trust I have for my partner the way the relationship is, everything. How am I going to rebuild that? How am I going to recover from that? Knowing that you are deliberately philandering, deliberately, you know, moving up and down. And the ones that do with several women, that maybe it was a mistake, maybe people were, emotions were high, or things like that. Maybe you can understand that. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't even justify it, to be honest with you, I can't. But the truth is that it might always, it might happen. It might happen. I'm mean, thinking infidelity on the part of men. But what about women who cheat too? What about maybe you guys are in a fight, you guys have been emotionally, you've been emotionally neglected. One ex, it's always an ex from somewhere that comes around. One ex from the block comes back. One thing leads to another. You guys, you guys do the do. <laughs> it's not only men that cheat too. And a lot of the times we find these days that a lot more women cheat than is being televised. But because the men have shame and ego and pride, I really don't like fish skin. So I'm removing it. My husband was here with eating it. Um, men are not documenting or exposing their wives who are cheating. It's only women that are coming out to say so. So I'm eating a scotch bonnet with this. Let me adjust this a little bit so you guys can be on my level. Sorry. So I stopped looking up and I'm looking straight forward. Is this better? Oh yeah, I think this is a bit better. Sorry that it's dark too. Um. <coughs> To tell my husband today that he's underestimating me because I seem calm does not mean that I'm calm. There are a lot of things that you know, marriage has made me calm down. I don't used to show my leg outside anymore. So the things that I'm so is one, you know. 
calm person. Well, it's not true. Let me say, so what's that? <laughs> now, as I said, my husband Kuku knows exactly. He knows, so he's very aware. YouTubers know your boundaries. Well, the ones I know, it's true. They need to. We need to know our boundaries. We need to be careful because it's not everybody that is on the internet and your fellow YouTuber that means you well. You guys, it's not spicy, but it's just hot. <laughs> The ring light is hot because I'm trying to make my kitchen bright. My kitchen is not bright at all. It's not everybody that's on YouTube that is cheering you on that means you well. Even the people that you think are your loyal subscribers. A lot of subscribers are not loyal. And it's not their fault because they like a lot of people. So you cannot demand loyalty from this kind of environment. So you might think that, oh, this person watches your video all the time. It's first to comment, first to this, first to this. But sis, <laughs> it's anywhere belief face because they like a lot of people. They are loyal to a lot of people. So we have to know our boundaries, know what you're sharing. Don't beg, don't beg any man, please. Don't beg any, even if, if you want to do this in private, you know. Don't come to the internet to do it. I beg you. I beg at the beg. Now, serious beg at the beg. Um... Marriage is sacred. No one should be teaching and uh, cheating. I agree with you 100%, Grace. No one should be cheating at all. I don't I don't subscribe to cheating. But the truth is that a lot of people who were cheats or cheaters, cheats in their marriage, end up being cheats in their, in, in their relationships, end up being cheats in their marriage. So what do I mean by this? Like, you did not handle your philandering ways as a single person. And you think that marriage will cure the loss. That's what a lot of people think. That oh, once you get married, because you're with one woman, and you've said your vows, you're going to stick to the woman. There's temptation everywhere. Even me just going for a walk in my estate. Somebody say, ah, my color, my color. I say, oh, I'm married. You say, it doesn't matter. I see my ring as well. I just want to be friends. From there, something else happens. Okay? So we have to be careful. And deal with the lust. Deal with the whatever feelings you are feeling before you get married. Because once you get married now, sometimes it can be amplified. Because once your husband frustrates you, because you know that there's options, there are options outside, you might be tempted to toe that line. So please check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> well, did you get hear that phrase? Okay. So what about the woman? They are begging her husband to go out to cheat. On the same internet, I saw that post that she says he married. I think even I see the, the video like that. I don't know if it's her I saw. I saw a headline somewhere. And she said marriage was interesting before when he was cheating. So what do you guys think? Some people prefer havoc. Some people are used to havoc, havoc in their relationships. They are used to madness. They are used to... I think next time I'm going to use um, stream here so you guys can you guys can chat with me. <laughs> you guys can call in and talk. Next time you just remind me I'm going to use stream here to do this. So that we can all contribute to the conversation. So yeah. And you can all eat with me. So maybe you guys will bring your own food. Let's eat together. <laughs> because I feel weird eating alone on the internet. <laughs> but this is so good. I'm glad I use potato instead of yam actually. It's really nice. Stephanie says she has self-esteem. Yeah, I think it's also a product of her background. A lot of women are coming from a lot of chaos, a lot of abuse, seeing their mothers, their parents go through stuff, and they feel like that's the only way to show love, right? The only way to show love is to, to be abusive or to be neglectful and all of that. So, no. <laughs> you guys' comments are funny. Caroline says she needs to be single. That woman doesn't love her husband. I also think her parents' marriage was in turmoil. Exactly what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. So when you see that kind of thing, you think that that's how love and peace. People that are allergic to peace, like some women that say, oh, if he's not beating me, he doesn't love me. If he's not fighting, if he's not fighting his love, like love has to be passionate. I don't like a calm guy. I don't like a good guy. I like the bad boys that would rough me up a little bit. Choke me, choke me, please, choke me. Hello? <laughs> You guys, if you don't drink some enough ice, what are you doing? This Papi K's jog. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Yeah, maybe she cheats, so that's possible. Yeah. 
it's possible that she cheats too. So, yeah. but I'm sure the man will be afraid. Like, ah, I've never done this kind of madness before. I'm used to women begging my side chick to stop. Now, this one is saying, please go ahead. Go ahead. I remember a story of my one somebody I know actually. I won't go into detail too much. Let me just chew this piece. Look at I'm done. Like, the recipe is so good. I'm not even lying. It was good. But I think scent would have been. And I did you know scent is at aromatic. Same with Uziza. So it would have elevated the body bitter leaf. Brought it down, brought the sweetness down. So you added that bit of bitterness, which I like actually. So yeah. Nigerian pepper soup for you guys. You're watching it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, smell of ice in the US. I bought it after the first day after I delivered my baby. I said the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drink smell of ice in Houston. No taste like Nigerian smell of ice. <laughs> no taste good at all. Yeah, no taste good. Uh yeah, so she thinks she's normal. Exactly. I miss Nigerian just made up. Yeah, I've said that. Are you a slow eater? I'm not a slow eater. But I don't like hot food. So when I eat hot food, I eat slower. But I don't like hot food at all. Sometimes I'll cook and put my food in the freezer if I need to eat it immediately. Put it in the freezer, set the table, wash up the dishes, do everything I need to do, then go and eat so that the food has cooled down. I really don't like hot food. I feel like you don't get the taste of hot food or food when it's cold but then pepper soup it makes sense for it to be hot right so i'm a bit slower when i eat pepper soup and hot things like i don't like hot food at all yeah so that's why everyone should watch for red flags before marriage yeah um before my relationship brings out the the best my brings out the rest if she is in your relationship before marriage well, how they? Yeah, exactly what i'm saying now if you're cheating in your relationship you're most likely cheating your marriage that's a fact it's not anybody doing you not village people doing you and all of that yes this is my dinner it actually is my lunch it's my lunch not even dinner it's my lunch but yeah so my husband and i are going out later I want to go and watch wakanda forever so i might have like popcorn or something uh later on but yeah this is what i'm full already i don't think i can eat anything maybe around eight or so maybe yeah but uh what did this person say yes i agree Wahala good day. So I was saying that there was someone who said, Oh, I've forgotten the train of thoughts now. Something like ah, yeah, I've forgotten the gist. I've forgotten the gist. <laughs> guys, this pepper soup confused my brain. <laughs> but let me just read you guys' comment. Me too. I don't like hot food for the same reason. You don't get exactly you cannot get the taste of hot food. Um you can never get the taste of hot food. Uh, it tastes of food when it's hot. I feel sometimes the sauce will be too much. You will not taste it because it's too salty. That's why I really recommend, I really scream and say, don't put all your seasoning when you're cooking at the same time. Put just a little. Let the food arrange itself first before you now put more because you will taste the food is tasting. I did salt. I said when I was pregnant, eh, it's like the salt taste board part of my mouth burnt off. Right? And I was pregnant for my second child. I would not taste any salt in anything I'm cooking. I'll just be adding more salt. Oh, it's not. Ah, it's not. By the time the food has a, a time for rest <laughs> and cool down, <laughs> we'll not be able to eat the food. And the worst part, my mother-in-law was around during that period. She was around. So it was like, ah, so this was my husband has been so, uh, her son has been suffering. <laughs> salty, salty food the whole time. But that's when I learned, uh, what do they call it? I learned that if you blend onions, if you blend onions and pour it into your salty food, depending on what the food is, right? Depending on what the food is, uh, it will fix it, okay? So onions, a whole bulb of onions put inside your soup or your stew. But I don't know if it cannot make sense in jello fries. How are you going to do it in jello? Some dishes it won't work, but most dishes it will work. And I also had potatoes as well. If you peel an Irish potato and put it in your pot, it will absorb all the salt and you're good to go. But like I said, it's easier to add more than to subtract. So you better, <clears throat> you guys, I'm telling you for experience, eh, the shame. I felt like this woman was judging me. She, even though she wasn't, she understood that I was pregnant. So it, it, it was not, it, I, it wasn't making sense. <laughs> so she, she, she would just go and gently cook her own food <laughs> because she's like, me and you cannot eat this food. <laughs> And Papi K is not that kind of husband. My husband is not that kind of husband that will ever tell you, oh, baby, don't worry, I will manage it. He'll be like, hello, <laughs> this food is tasteless. <laughs> this food is salty. You say, ah, Anidi, ah, ah, 
What's going on here? What's going on here? I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't feature up this world. You just throw your food away. Then I'm not gonna sit there and be saying, he doesn't love me. He doesn't love oh my god. Pregnancy was a nightmare. The emotions were everywhere, the hormones were every now me cook salty food. Now me still they cry, say they don't like the food. Will I make him eat the salty food like that? Go <coughs> Gosh, I remember the day that I was experimenting. Um, I remember that Chantel made um, what did they call it? I was still pregnant this period. She made a uh, which sauce was it? Was it jollof rice or something? And she added ketchup inside it. So I was like, okay, I'm making stuff. Let me add ketchup inside it. And then I now added too much salt in the. No, I wasn't planning on adding ketchup actually. I was making okra soup. I now added too much salt in the okra soup, as usual now during the pregnancy days. I now put ketchup inside, thinking that the ketchup will like stew. <laughs> That would, <coughs> that would dilute the salt. Wahala. Linda, the way you said wahala, it was a real one. It was a real one. I swear. <coughs> I married a husband that does not have filter. I don't even know what I was even taking with the ketchup. He said, I need it, please. Just take this food back. Don't take this. Just, just. I said, what's wrong now? I really put my heart and soul into it. I really put my energy. He said, I don't know whether you put sugar inside okra soup, but I'm not eating this okra soup. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I, pregnancy will deal with me to show you shake. Me that I used to cook. Like I cook and people will be like, oh my god, so see, this food is so nice. What did you put inside? That pregnancy previous my food in my day. In my day. In my day. Because the movie I was not eating the food. I was going to Malam, I was going to buy their bread and egg. I was not eating the food. It's my children I peace. They didn't have choice. They didn't have choice. <laughs> oh gosh. That period, yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys, that period. That period was hilarious, man. I wasn't eating my own food safe. Even ordinary Indomie safe. I'll now say, okay, let me make up for Ha! I'm not remembering all the nonsense that I did. <laughs> and I wasn't filming that part. This is the thing that YouTube is really curated. I was not filming the nonsense food. It's only the food that would be nice. And even some days, uh, the food is already not, it's just so okay. I said, mm, yummy. <laughs> not, <laughs> let me confess to you guys. So there was one day now, I said, okay, let me make it up to him. He said, and I just want ordinary, and it is my middle name, you don't know. Um, he said, I just want ordinary indomie, nothing. He was raising his hand like, I surrender to your cooking. I don't want anything inside the indomie. Just ordinary noodles, nothing, nothing. That's how, and see, I was like, ah, let me make it up to him. Let me do my special noodles. Let me do like this. Let me do like that, guys, guys. If not you, you will kill me. You put a gun. Say, this is why you are wicked. <laughs> the indomie no mix. <laughs> indomie. I don't know what happened to me when I was pregnant. God. So when I now had my baby, I had a lot to redeem. Like I, I was like sort of a good cook. I, I, I used to have a catering business. I used to do lunch packs. So people love my food. And so I'm like, you're a good cook. I had to. So I now started overdoing it. And that's how, I don't know if I, I told you in a story time. No, he suffered. Oh, Papi K suffered in my hands. That's very true. I, I don't know if I told you guys a story time where my incision for my C-section, my C-section opened up. That's what happened. I was overdoing it. I was trying to make up for all the nonsense I was cooking and all. And nobody sent me. It's not like he just knew that, okay, something is off. My wife's taste buds are not functioning properly anymore and all of that. So he understood. But me, I felt really bad. And that's something to, that goes to show to women who feel like a lot of their identity is tied to cooking and being a wife. Nobody was angry with me. Nobody felt that. It wasn't even a joke. We're laughing about it. But me... I was taking it personally because I'm like, food is my love language. I love cooking for people. So I have to, you know, redeem myself. And then I overdid it. I would bend down. I'll be trying to pound this, trying to do this. And that's how one day I started bleeding again. And my incision had opened up and I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to do a lot of things. Like I had to, you know, go back for a restitching and they had to clean it up and, so I didn't heal as fast. I healed faster, but the incision didn't heal as fast as, you know, Jasmine's pregnancy and all that. But yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are done with the food. You have any gist that you want to talk to me about? I think we've been here for how long now? 76 minutes. That's one hour, 16 minutes. And yeah, I'm going to see Wakanda forever this evening, you guys. <laughs> you guys stop laughing at me. Oh. You guys, you should tell me your own stories because I know that a lot of you have gone through the same thing I'm going through. I know you guys have experience. You guys have experience in this. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, let me read. So, what did you add to yours too? Hmm. You guys. If you know what I used to add to my things, I say I'm a cook. I'm, I watch a lot of Food Network. I watch a lot of um, Master Chef Australia. Oh, Master Chef Australia, the most amazing show in the whole wide world. So you guys, I will go and ma watch Master Chef. I say, okay, how can I apply this technique? Technique I've not learned. So how can I apply this technique or this ingredient to Nigerian food? How can I do this? So one day I say, oh, Kilichi, I want to make something special for you. <laughs> My husband said, I beg you in the name of God. I wish he was here. I said, I beg you in the name of God. Oh my God. I beg you in the name of my village people. Please don't add anything extra. Just do normal jollof rice. Oh, just do normal pasta. That's how I went to go and bring a uh, pineapple. I want to make pineapple rice. I was so serious. I want to make pineapple. <laughs> and the thing is that a lot of the time, the food will actually taste nice. So my experiment, it tastes nice and a bit unusual, but they are nice. But I married a husband that is very safe. That you know, one year say this woman has gone to add a whole pineapple to the rice. Is that what are you talking about? What are you doing? So I had to dig the pineapple, bring out the core, bring out everything, then I cook the fried rice. Now put bits of pineapple in it, and now put suya spice on top to give it a bit of a spicy, you know, master chef. Now, master chef, so I had to do all these raspberries, slice onions on top. In fact, oh, let me tell you, there I made pineapple jam. <laughs> you guys, I just actually love cooking and trying new things. So, anyway, the pineapple, rice, and everything. <laughs> Food neck will definitely have you thinking you're a chef. Especially when you want chopped and all this thing. If I wasn't chopped, I'd have done it like this. I'd like, lie. You cannot do it. You can... Do you want it means to have 30 minutes to cook a whole food, a whole meal? Me that was standing here talking to you guys. Was it, how, how long did I take? You get to cook this thing. So yeah, Food Network will be deceiving like you can do it. You, can, you really cannot do it. I'm so sorry. Oh, good. So yeah, I watched uh, how to make jam on, uh, uh, what do they call it now? Oh, no. <laughs> on Food Network. I had some ripe pineapples. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make, make pineapple jam for pa a papake with pancakes, okay? We're going to do pa- hmm. Oh, man, that was my head. This one, I was not, okay, I was already pregnant. This was Jasmine's pregnancy. The first year, uh, <laughs> the first year of marriage. Oh man, Papike had this. My experiments were not nowhere to be found. It was just something else, okay? I was just doing things. So I went to put sugar in a pot. I now put some water for it to caramelize. You know, food network now. You know, you have to caramelize the sugar to bring out the uh, sweetness and the tanginess and the warm flavor. And now, what did I add again? It's like, why not put the pineapple? Um, I was waiting for the pineapple to jam. The ja pineapple did not jam. It was just, it was just so sweet. But when I was done, right, funny enough, it didn't come out with the consistency I, I like or I was expecting, but it came out not bad, and he was able to eat it with his pancakes, like it was like pineapple syrup instead of pineapple jam, and I added some fresh pineapples on top, and I went to go and put a, what did they call it now, what's this leaf? Mint leaf or something like that, or so, oh god, you guys, if you were in my home, you will be tired of me. <laughs> You'll be tired of me because the guys there like the guy my husband is a very traditional man, but he doesn't look like a traditional man. I'll be like, Madam, what have you brought again? What's this one? What's this please? I'm going outside to go and eat races. He'll be doing like this. I'm going outside, I'm going outside. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. But when I now make him try to be like, ah, oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Oh god. So yeah, that's my cooking journey, but I'm Let me use my ordinary voice. Sorry, I think the mic just died. Too bad. We've been here for an hour plus. So this fake mic. Can you guys hear me? Is it still okay? Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay. Alright. Okay. So... Bye bye, my <laughs> This thing, you guys, I have a video that I filmed with my sister in law. You know, I went to Lagos for their wedding. 
uh, her wedding and I filmed a video to my sister. So when I was about to film, I realized, oh, I don't have a mic. I want the audio to be clear. I went to pick up the mic, plug this receiver, this part in the phone, right, so that it will be there. Then I now discovered that the mic was already dead. I said, okay, let's film without the mic. I'll try and work on the audio during post-production. You guys, I forgot to remove this part, this receiver part from the phone. So the whole 17 minutes post video with my sister and that was premium part. You guys have enjoyed that video. There's no audio. There's no audio. I was so angry. I was just frustrated like God. Which kind of stress is this? You should use mine because mic is making your audio clear. It's making your this, this, it's making your this, that. Now I use the, audio, the mic now. You know, combo. So I have this video that I've been working on. What we try to do, and I don't know if I've not posted it because I don't know if you guys would like it or appreciate it. Uh, we did a Zoom call and had a similar conversation, even though it's not the same conversation because that conversation revealed a lot, you know, about our relationship, meeting your in-law for the first time, navigating sister in law sister in law relationship, jealousy, and you know, feeling like I was replacing them in his life and all that. We had very organic conversation. So I don't know. <clears throat> And we can't recreate it obviously because it was one thing we talked about. I can't really remember like the way the conversation flowed. So what we tried to do was to do like a zoom call and take the audio from the zoom call and put it over the video. So like uh, voice over kind of thing. So it's one of those like Chinese, Indian, South Korea movies where the mouth is moving this way, somebody is moving that way. But I don't know, I don't know wondering if I should post it like that. Or you know, wait for when she comes to her court again to show the video because she lives in Lego and she's trying to sing up also. She was not around, so I don't know. But technology will frustrate your life, that doesn't sum up the whole thing. <laughs> it will frustrate your life. <clears throat> anyway, I think I was saying something about my children. Yes, my children they eat anything, especially the DJ. That means not so much. Well, the DJ eats anything, so it's hard that, um, <clears throat> uh. She has, Eugene has, like, her taste both are experimental, so I'm always very happy. I will go and blend broccoli with fish, with some ground beef and this, and the girl, you know, she's just eating it and going like this, <laughs> going like that. But I'm not as experimental in the kitchen anymore. But I think actually, no, maybe because I'm now posting a lot more on Instagram, I'm going out of my way to try some new things or film things for content. But you guys, I wish you were in my home. So this, I just wake up that oh, I want to make a broccoli chicken sauce, something, 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 and I'm going to the market to them. Like it's good. Like God is saying that I don't want to blend this girl with plenty money now because she needs all her money. I'm going to the grocery store and be experimenting, <laughs> experimenting, and that's how my mom is. Cause I know I don't know if you guys know mom beans. I've used mom beans or mom beans, mom beans to make my way before. Nigerians, you guys understand what I'm saying? It's actually very interesting. So yeah, so. Do you guys have anything else for me? Oh, I think, I don't know, have you enjoyed this? Should we talk more? Is there anything else you guys want me to say? I'm sweating in the kitchen, but I'm enjoying this chat so much. Okay, Carolyn says, now that you explained it, yes, post it. Okay, I'll see. I'll put maybe this week or next week, because I have a lot of content this week. I did a lot of collabs. I did two collabs this week. <clears throat> Actually, one and, well, two, sort of, yeah. And I have a video going up tomorrow. So I have content for this week. So maybe next week I'll post that video. It's really nice actually. I really wish I was looking on all the apps, how to recover audio that did not audio and all of that. And I couldn't find anything on that. So it's a bit disappointing. But yeah, that's where we are. So if you want me to post the recipe for this purpose, so maybe I'll post it in the um in the chat or okay in the description box in the description box when i finish this video yeah i'll post it there so yeah anything else guys anything else we want to talk about anything else love this concept thank you caroline i watched it from nazo eh, not nazo um ogom series she did the uh, cook jollof rice for like how many people uh, party jollof rice she did it like i think it was a premiere not in live and that kind of inspired me to do this like it's something interesting is engaging not every day i'll sit there and put camera and try to be filming and it's just showing in real time and assuming i made any mistakes too that'd be nice to show the mistakes and the missteps and whatever happened and how we got to this point so yeah i really enjoyed filming this as well hopefully i can continue you know me i'm very fond of starting something and not continuing but i hope this this is something i'm passionate about i actually enjoy cooking so perhaps <clears throat> maybe we can make same jollof rice homemade because 
who here likes party jollof rice? I really don't like party jollof rice. I like homemade jollof rice, okay? Party jollof rice, I'm forcing your jollof rice to burn because your house smoky taste is, oh god, I feel like it's such a waste and stressful. In fact, I feel like jollof rice is overhyped. Rice and stew for me, okay? That's that's where it's at. Rice and stew. Better have goat meat stew or beef stew, even chicken stew. With a lot of rich, rich inside, spicy stew, but nice. That's what I like. And you're not know, everything will be inherited, but that's just me, Sha. That's just me. <clears throat> anyway, anyway. Is there a difference? Is there a difference between what? Okay, yes, the party jollof and homemade. Party jollof is the kind that they do over firewood, and then the firewood and the smoky. Um, flavor infuses with the rice, so it gives you that smoky flavor. And so, when people try to recreate it at home, they ensure that their pot burns, that the pot of rice burns, so that that burning um, smell or scent would recreate the firewood scent and then infuse into it. So, they will allow their pot burn, cover the pot so that the smoke from the burning goes back into the rice, so to create that spicy, that smoky flavor. I think it's overrated. It's not my thing. I'm not into it. I'm like, do not try general is overrated. <laughs> I like food. Yeah, I like cooking. It's a good thing for my family. I like taking care of my family, my mom, my parents. I put my dad. My mom travels. Sometimes I'll cook for my dad and all of that. Yeah. So I like taking care of people generally. I prefer rice and stew. Yeah, definitely rice and stew is a good thing for me. That's the best. The best. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Since nobody else has any gist, sha. The only gist, the only thing that triggered me today was that woman. I don't need food I'm cooking and passionate about. Just what we are doing today. I'm really passionate about women's rights. I'm passionate about women's rights specifically. It is something I'm triggered, okay? I'm passionate about mentorship, okay? And young women. I feel like <clears throat> in Nigeria, there's this thing that happens that a lot of kids. Um, okay, before I go into that, I must have also for your kitchen business. I didn't have the time, you guys. I didn't have once I go back to work, I couldn't continue. And it was even when I was doing this, I had to wake up like 3 a.m. to make sure that things were ready by 7 a.m. because I still have to do school runs, I still have to go to work, and it was exhausting. So it was a lot, it was a lot for me. So I had to stop. And I've been thinking, like, even my kitchen is too small, like, my kitchen is a left, like a straight line. So to do all of that was a lot, right? So that's why I didn't continue, even with this whole business, too. Like, you guys have an order. I've been having orders, but low key. It's a lot. And the thing is that I'm the kind of person that wants my customers to have the best value for their money. So if I outsource it <coughs> because I'm going to work, <coughs> Well, I'm in court, I can't guarantee the value of the food, like you know, the value, the consistency. The same thing because when I'm not there and I say, okay, please help me do this and do this, the quality is not the same, right? I don't enjoy it and I feel like I'm cheating people of their money. So when there's a time that I can hire people, regular people to do what, like to help me out, then I'll do that, okay? That's that's what I've resigned to do because I don't want to stretch myself so thin. I'm doing YouTube here, I'm doing this here, I'm doing that here. So many things and I'm slacking on all of them. I want to be able to give my best, you know, and put in a structure that I can, you know, do that. And yes, I'm a, I love creative writing as well. I'm a writer, I'm a really, really good writer, but I slack on that for a long time. But this year, I said I'm going to do that. So like I said, if you were not here before, we have memberships on this channel. We have super chat, super this, super that. So we have super thanks as well. So I want to set up my membership in a way that <clears throat> you guys will be getting not necessarily, not necessarily newsletters, but you're getting emails from me. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, you get a lot of what they call it creative emails from me, operating emails, inspirational emails, and all of that. So I'm working on that as well. And I'm even working on creating, recreating my blog. I used to have a blog, guys. I used to have a blog back in the day. Like I had a lot of stories, I had a lot of personal stuff. And all that, but I never really publicized the blog because there are some things I don't want to know about, but I still want to be popular. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'm trying to bring back, like, not just a blog, I want to have a website, you know, just to have my stories, um, my all that stuff in there. <clears throat> yeah, you guys, there's a lot of food content because, um, 
um i don't know you guys you guys should know this is space right and this is like we're friendly we're cool and uh, we're chatting the other day and she was like yo <coughs> we're talking about growing instagram and she was telling me that a lot of her sponsorships and a lot of her um <coughs> content her um, sponsored content and brand deals came from Instagram. So a lot of people found her from Instagram for reels and they contacted her and that's how she got her sponsorships and that's how she got her brand deal and got all this other stuff. So she was like, okay, since I like cooking a lot and I like talking about mother cooking and all that stuff, that I should just keep putting out that kind of content on Instagram so that I can attract more people and grow my page. That's why you see me posting me a lot. Because all these things, I'm cooking them normally, right? I'm cooking them for my husband. This is like, I'm not doing, I'm not cooking for content. It's what I made that breakfast for my husband or what I made for lunch or what I made for Saturday brunch or something. But I'm just uploading it on Instagram and short because on YouTube, when I upload those videos on YouTube, they don't do as well. So she was like, yeah. To get more visibility and all of that, post your reels, post everything on Instagram. You can also do YouTube shorts, and that's why you've seen a lot of traffic from me in on terms of Instagram or food content. Like on YouTube, you just see me cooking here and then because a lot of people don't even appreciate what I cook instead, you know. So that's where the food content and stuff comes from. I actually enjoy cooking. I'm not even denying that I really like cooking. <laughs> okay, it's really a stress reliever for me. I remember in law school, somebody broke up with me. My ex-boyfriend broke up with me the day before my exam, my bad final, my, my last exam papers. Again, I, I don't even remember that story. If I even told you, the guy was saying then broke up with me the day before multiple choice exam and what is it to do? I went to the market, I went to the biggest book of super food in my life and after sharing for all my colleagues <laughs> in law school and then went bigger place, bigger place because I needed to let my stress go and cooking literally because that almost like mathematics like knowing the type of see to put knowing what to put the amount of this to put it takes a lot of stress off my head. So I did that and all that. So that's just who I am but yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, getting more visibility, getting more stuff. So I also want to start posting speaking content, not just, um, not just, uh, what do you call it? Like face to face, like all these small advice, small tips and things that you, I do, like I talk to you guys um, about, um, like posting it on Instagram. So like inspirational stuff and all of that. So I'm not just a cook, I'm, I'm many things. I want to just get more visibility out there. I recently reached out to a brand and you guys fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed it comes through fingers crossed fingers toes and every other place that you can cross <laughs> let it cross and come through but yeah so i just don't want to be that i want to be an influencer if somebody called me something like they say so to the prophet ck influencer i was like yes the influencer prophet yes i'm like that's me yes post christian content inspirational content all that content you still cook as well show mommy content and all of that and just you know get on with life and still you know make some good money that's it <laughs> i like it a lot cooking if you come to my house you will enjoy me but you know there's some days where i'm just even tired like i don't want to cook nothing i don't want to do i think that's something i should actually do even on this channel or on instagram show you how i make do with what is in the house but there's some times where there's okra soup uh, there's vegetable soup there's a goosey soup there are different half 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 soup and somehow i can make them into one soup but nobody will know it's be like fresh nobody will have an idea that i combine half of all the leftovers and put inside all one soup i'm like oh where did you put this soup so nice if i mistakenly tell him that i put this soup like four weeks ago and i added the one for yesterday i had this one he will not eat it i say oh some time ago, some time, but it was even was it fresh, it's still fresh, it's still fresh. But then you just combine things and make something, okay? It just happens like that. Like that's mommy life. It's not every day you want to cook fresh food, it's not every day you have the time. So now you come back and you don't know that the food that you kept for dinner for the kids, they ate it as a snack. <laughs> if you're a mommy, you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> you'll eat it as a snack. So now it's time for dinner, then Auntie, there's no food in the house. Auntie, what can we give the children? Auntie, can I do you now start cracking your brain. What is in the house? Okay, there's bread. Can we make a uh, French toast? Okay, there's potatoes. Can we make chicken? Can we do this? Other oh, they're going to eat for sauce. They know, okay, they have um, fresh tomatoes. I can make eggs. So I can, you start cracking your brain just so that your kids can eat. And you will not be feeling like, oh, you're not taking care of your children the way you should. Right? So, yeah, that's what happens. <coughs> that's my life. <coughs> Hi 
chini mirem, chini oh what's chini mirem, chini cherem oh I never heard that name before chini cherem. Hi, <clears throat> good evening. Me and you both chili ma, me and you both. It's a really stress for me. <laughs> I rather cook than eat sometimes, right? Actually, but it just depends on where. Ah. Uh, but that's stress me, but you are hilarious, I beg. It's not the same for me at all. It's not the same for me. Uh, it's not the same. Even cleaning too is a stress reliever. If you see me, if I'm angry and I start cleaning, you can lick your toilet. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my God. Clean cooking when I'm angry or not when I'm in a normal mood. I'm not going to clean anyway for you. When I'm upset, <clears throat> when I'm stressed out, and I try to pick brush to say I'm scrubbing my toilet, like my bathroom, I'm cleaning everywhere. Oh man, you go one like that for the ground and say, Yeah, this is my bed. That's it. Please, <laughs> please thumbs up this video for me, guys. <laughs> I'd rather clean than cook. No, I'd rather cook than clean. Once I, and it's good to have help when you're even cleaning this thing, when you're cooking, because as they move the pot, they wash and for you. You don't have to think of cleaning up after yourself. That's the beauty of Nigeria, because I mean, a lot of assistance around. A lot of assistance around. But yeah, and it close. Oh, it's when those days when I used to iron. I don't iron anymore like that too. But we get irons for me. I was like, baby, please can you help me iron my dress? I be doing like down very distressed. Even I can iron the iron man. My dad is a working class guy now, so he was wearing all those white stuff. You start the shirt. The start will not be strong like this. The shirt can cut somebody. And that's okay. Can iron it for me. The gators. We put the gators in the trouser. Oh God. <coughs> <coughs> you see why I needed the best room, but I have been having some kind of cough. I used to iron a lot, but now as I marry, all of a sudden I don't have to iron again. Oh baby, can you me do this? And I said, okay, okay, bring it for me. You'll be grumbling, but you did it for me. For me. As a point, I, never, I, I don't think I've ironed like up to five times in my marriage. I don't think I've ironed up to five. Maybe, let me say ten times in the whole five years of, I mean five years, four years of getting married. I don't think so. But the case, the ironing guy. Yeah. I get a lot of people enjoy cooking and it's fine too. It's fine. There's some days I don't even know. I get it. I get it. Yeah, so this is just gist now. This is just gist now. Please like the video. Iron is too much drama. I buy clothes that require this to only iron it. <laughs> Nigeria will not agree. Nigeria will not like to buy clothes without. <laughs> oh my god, I remember the day my dad would bring out clothes. Ah, oh, you guys, I remember what happened one time. So, we had gone to school, there was nobody in the house. I think I didn't go to marry them. I'm not sure, but he had a new set of helps in the house. So, he gave this baby pad his set. You know how Nigerian men like to wear these sets now? This cream colored, almost like brown, brownish cream colored uh, uh, sets up and down. So not up and down, not seen it all. like I don't know how to explain shirt, shirt and trouser to wash for him and then iron so weeks passed and he was looking like he would see the shirt and be looking for the trouser like ah, I gave this babe shirt to be a uh, set to iron wash and iron for me but I cannot find the trouser I cannot find the trouser so one day like this he was now going through all his clothes not so long white trouser hanging and I was like, where is the shirt of this trouser? Like, why do I have this trouser and there's no shirt and I have this shirt and there's no trouser? We need to discover that, I don't know whether what happened that our auntie, the hell, I don't know what, and I said there was a stain on the trouser, so she now put bleach, she put bleach inside the bucket with the trouser, with the trouser, with the trouser. <laughs> so, a cream stroke, brown colored shirt, it was there one side, the trouser. Turned to white. My dad was looking at this white trouser for over two weeks, wondering where the shirt was. I'm looking at this shirt, wondering where the trouser was. We wiped that together. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the only way he knew that that was the trouser of the shirt was called the bottom. The bottoms were the same. See, this help, this Nigerian help system is a freaking problem. It's a problem. Like, it's a disaster. Like, you guys, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know how we are surviving. I don't know. The man was so shocked. We not call everybody like we're calling for a meeting. You people should come and see you before you say you're shouting at somebody's daughter. Come and see you. Come and see you. Me. The man was very angry. I was busy laughing because not in my wildest imagination did I think that somebody 
would put a brown trouser in bleach and it turns white. Then you iron it like that. Then that hang it and give the owner. Like that's how you gave. That's how the clothes <laughs> when she gave you. So I don't see that ironing is a lot of stress. <laughs> it is a lot of stress. I mean, especially men clothes, Nigerian men clothes, civil servants. I must wear get gators. The, the, the line must be sharp. The trouser must be sharp. Oh no. Or this they are slaves. Oh no, 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 no. I don't even envy anybody. Like, I like that my husband, uh, he, what do you call it? He outsources the laundry. So I don't even iron. Like, his shirt, his white shirt, his cut shirt, all those things. He outsources it. So it's not in my repertoire. It's not in my list of chores. <laughs> And yes, but just still about to like it's normal. It's sweet though sometimes, I bet. They really stressed. Ah, I prefer to relax with cooking. Clean the tire me. That's why my iron every day was you know, secondary school. Then I also iron pants and then I you were one of those ITK people now. Uh-uh. You were those guys with iron pants, iron uh, iron singlet, iron socks. As when you guys get in school, gosh. Ah, Nigeria secondary school to turn into something. Else. What are you ironing? What are you And there's some people like that too. They'll not be forming latest girls who well, are iron my pants. I iron everything. They'll not fold it like this. Not the pants. They'll do one side, one side, one side, one side. Fold this. Not fold it inside a a bag like this. They will bring it down one by one. I beg. On our guest strength. On our guest strength, please. Exactly. She should have put it up also. You would have thought it was the exact copy that would not even remember self. <clears throat> he would not even remember that he gave you anything. Maybe he remember one day, and maybe one thing, but he won't have known. He won't have known. <laughs> he won't have known. <laughs> oh gosh, you can have stories for days. I have a story time that I want to even feel. So I gave my car what boots. I was there, guys. So it, was a, so it was an interesting thing, but I think I'll do it for us. Reserve the gist for the video so you guys can go. A lot of people I'm posting in this comment section. I don't see you guys on my videos. Please go and comment comment on my videos, okay? The way I'm seeing you guys here chatting with me, go and let's go and chat in the video, the comment section, and all of that stuff. <clears throat> oh gosh. Um. <laughs> Hiring for Nigeria for Nigeria parents was work. Honestly, when you're gonna bring that her uh, Akara that has sugar pad with different layers and gathers like this, like this, like how you go put it? Why are you putting the? How are you doing it? If you did mathematics to to iron the gathers and to stretch this thing and everything. Ah, uh, please, I beg. I don't. I'm not. I'm not cut out for that. <laughs> I'm not. Do you know what I even do when I have clothes like that? All these um, traditional clothes, ashevi clothes. Anything that is stressful to wash and iron, I sneak it inside like the case, no drill load, and go and eat it. When they come, they say, ah, why is my bill so high? Oh, my dance clothes were inside, so you're not looking that expensive. Yes, babe, I just added this, you know, I just added this. I choose my battles. <laughs> I choose the stress. <laughs> I choose the stress. I really choose the stress. Ah, it's like this now, so far my stuff for. Um, I can hear you. Okay, hi, Abiyadu. I build this sashore, sashore, is that it? My bro taught me, I was laughing because of Caroline's comment actually. So you just end the top like this, then talk it directly. <laughs> Which kind of stress is this? I don't you just end, because at the end of the day, it makes sense because by the time you talk it in, this will still get one put on that. So why are you not ironing? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I understand. Um, excuse me. Ironing pants. Okay, mama. <laughs> okay mama, I had to I normally download videos to watch them later because of okay I understand. I understand makes sense, makes sense, thank you. Okay, because I do you know that commenting on videos, I know that it can be boring because sometimes I will take time to re reply, like if I'm not online when the video goes live. Because most of the time eh, I schedule the video like an, a day or so before the video goes up. Like I have my video for Sunday, I edited it this morning. So I know I'm busy on Sunday. My grandmother is turning 80. And her birthday photo shoot is tomorrow, and I have a class in church tomorrow, and I also have um, somebody's birthday tomorrow. So I knew I won't have time, so I just woke up early and did the video. So when that video goes like, I may or may not even be near my phone or whatever when that video goes like. So I always come back to come, reply comments later. So I understand. <clears throat> yeah. 
So I understand why it can be boring because nobody's interacting directly. But it helps the YouTuber with engagement. When people comment on the video, the algorithm knows that when people like this video, they're even engaging their comments. Even if it's oh, so I enjoyed your video. It's something, you know, I think. So please help us out. Subscribe. Like the video. If you don't want to comment, okay, at least like the video, share, so that the video will be, I think the video will be in trouble. The video will keep getting, you know, recommendations and all that. But we're all trying. I think we're doing good generally on YouTube. Um, I'm not trying to put any pressure on myself. Like, I was before. I was feeling bad that, oh, today videos, the views are up. And the next thing is not all People that are doing some similar content are getting 10 times more views than I am. But I thought to myself recently, like, so to your journey is very different. Um, <clears throat> Oh, your birthday is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, happy birthday, Stephanie. Oh, happy birthday. Don't invite us now, without shown. Actually, I met. You know, well, yeah, actually, I probably would. If you have told me, yeah. Happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday, happy birthday. You guys tell Stephanie happy birthday in advance. Excuse me. Happy birthday in advance. Um, anything to reduce the time of the stress, yes, I understand that. Um, I create content on Instagram, but I'm usually here for YouTubers um, whose content I enjoy. Instagram is more real time. Yes, I get that. Okay, I get that. I get that. Me too. I'm on Instagram. If fairly, I'm not all the time, Jerry. I'm not all. I'm not always on Instagram, but I'm on. I'm on YouTube more because, like, I can get sermons on YouTube. I can get. Um, content for work on YouTube, like I was recently watching, I found another lawyer on YouTube that was really putting out amazing content, I can't remember her name or her handle or that year. So YouTube is like a platform that you can get a lot of entertainment, research, inspirational, spiritual stuff and all that, so that's what I mean. Instagram, I feel Instagram is just too fake because even now the reels are so, ah, there's nothing organic about reels anymore, you just don't find one flower like this and be talking about the flower. You gotta find you again, sis. You gotta do this. You gotta. Yeah, I'm like, I beg. And you see, I scroll up on reels sometimes. I'm just like, I don't want to hear this thing again. I beg. It's very frustrating, but I digress. <laughs> I digress. Sorry. Um, happy birthday, Stephanie. Maybe I watch you get Stephanie for her birthday. Maybe I should pocket the paper super and send to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Help me have a blessed day. Enjoy your day with your family. And all of that. Instagram is becoming annoying. You guys, thank you. Chilima said, so to your team, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's becoming really, really annoying. It's becoming really annoying. Yes, Instagram is really, really fake. It's becoming annoying. Like, the, see, I really don't enjoy short form content. I don't enjoy videos as much because I miss tutorials. Like, I would go, like, I started watching YouTube before all these things happen now. So, I miss when you want to learn a makeup technique, you want to learn something, and you go and you learn, and you come out and you can practice it. By the time you do pam, 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 on one sound like this, your eyes will blink. Before you break, you don't, you don't know what is You don't know what's happening. They you not see the lights. 200,000 lights. I wonder what are people liking on this video. It don't make sense. It don't make it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. I miss tutorials. I miss like decent 15 to 20 minute videos. Like I like longer videos. I enjoy it. So that's why sometimes I make this kind of video. But then it's not everybody that likes it too. So I get. But I get that. Um, you can't learn nothing on Instagram. I'm telling you, you can't. You can't. You don't be wasting your time on the screen and be liking people's picture and they and then preset up on presets and all sorts of things and it's not even. It don't make sense. I don't like Instagram. I don't like. I don't do it because instead it's you create visibility. Wait, let me try my laptop. There. Hold on. My charger is right here. <laughs> Instagram is stressful. Yeah, exactly. They don't even like. I think Instagram those days when you post pictures with your friends, you guys are gone shopping or you went to watch a movie or something. You not take a selfie. You post and all of that. It used to be fun. Yeah, exactly. We build beautiful pictures and all of that. Yeah, it's not like that anymore. Even stories, stories don't even get as much engagement. If it's not real, people are not watching you. So, and that real, not looking for all kind of transitions to be turning up and down. Like, dear, I beg you, who gets stressed for that? I like my YouTube the way it is. <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty two. Instagram has turned to something else. It has turned to something else. 
But it's funny how people are still making money off Facebook, guys. I just discovered somebody messaged me and said, Toti, all your YouTube videos posted on Facebook, create a Facebook page and start posting your videos. I was like, Facebook page, like what happens on Facebook? Ah, and the guy was not showing me uh, uh, <clears throat> and all of that. And I'm just like, huh? There's a whole other world on Facebook that content creators are not even aware well, some are not even aware of. I'm like, eh? Eh? So we said, yeah, so I have a Facebook account. No, not a Facebook page. Just look for Sotonia. I think it's just Sotonia. You find me there. So if you are on Facebook, yeah. Content strategies. Okay, Chidi, you must send me a message now. Maybe we can chat and all that. Like on Instagram. My name, my Instagram name is, let me just type it. Sotonia underscore Esco. You guys, I say Esco. Don't be only Esco. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> you guys pull up your Instagram too. So, so you can see the cooking content, you can see the live content, you can see me in real time. All those times that I go out and I don't post on um <clears throat> I don't post it on YouTube. Everything's on Instagram most times. And if you're on my close friends list, hey, you are enjoying me premium content that will never ever share in the light of day. But you see it there. Hi Francisca, hi, we are almost rounding up, but you're welcome, you are never late. Yes, Facebook is another funny, but a lot of people are making good money on Facebook, surprisingly. And I, I did not know. I did not know. I did not know. So, I'll do that. I would, I'll try to see. Because we are trying to make content creation, maybe not a full-time job, but a legit source of income. Because, you guys, things are, the way we are talking about things being expensive, not even just the fact that it's expensive, it's the fact that we are becoming our parents, right? I don't know how do I say this. Like we have kids now. Um, um, you follow me on Instagram already, okay? Then maybe just send me a message now, okay? Um, I'm late. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Well, Chidi, maybe you give us master class now. Give us tips on how to go on Instagram, okay? Just write like your top five tips for us. Let's benefit something from this life apart from chopping yummy pepper soup. You guys are late. Uh, Francis, can we cook yummy potato, sweet potato, pepper soup with fresh fish? Okay, fresh snapper. It was delicious. And we are finished with this my empty bowl. And you can see it. This is my empty bowl. Yes, exactly. That's what I was trying to say, um, Aima. It's not just the fact that things are expensive, that responsibilities are increasing. Like, I want my daughter to go to the best school. Like, the best, absolutely best school. But if you see the price of the best school in Port Harcourt now, or allegedly best school, alleged at least top five of the best schools in Port Harcourt. They are talking about 500,000 naira per term. Not per year, oh, per term. So that's, let's say it's 350, per, I think it's about 350, I think roughly 400 because you need from books for everything. So that's 800 for two terms. Then um, the, whole ses, um, the whole year or the whole session is 1.2 million. For a child that is not up to five years old, so you're not, you're not, you're not talking about secondary school, you're not talking about any other thing, it's just for school. Man was feeding, man was this, man was that, man was. <clears throat> so I'm just sitting down, just like, yo, how did our parents do it? How did they, how are they able to sacrifice so much? Because even though we think that things are bad for us now, they were also a bit stressful for them too. Because at that time, they are working, they are, things are opening up, phone was coming up and all of that. Yes, in Lagos, the, the time is 1.5. The me, I'm talking about the whole session. In Lagos, some schools is 1.5. And I'm just like, this is a child's school. So that's why I'm saying that, yes, exactly, one needs to really hustle hard. So that's why I'm exploring every avenue of my creativity. You see that blog? I'm going to monetize it. You see, every time I'm doing <laughs> this cooking, sometimes people will still start paying me to cook food for you. <laughs> Well, yes, we, I'm trying to do my best to express myself in all my gifts and talent the Lord has given me and be able to provide, like, for my kids, right? Because in today's economy, it's not everybody that can work in a single family home in the sense of single income home. Back then, like, a lot of times it was, um, what do you call it? A lot of the times it was kids that were playing, um, what can I say, self? I don't forget this not to talk, sir. Exactly, even my parents were saying school fees are expensive. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. I forgot what I was saying before, but you guys get me. Exactly what it is. So it's not just, it's not just, you know, oh, you want to make money or you want to make money. I know people genuinely need to make money. People genuinely need. It's a need. It's not that, oh, I want to have extra sources of income. That's the word we talk about right now. You know, we want extra sources of income. <clears throat> 
It's because you need the money. Not for frivolity, but to give your kids the best. Now, the school just is going to be sort of okay. But I want to enroll her in swimming classes in ballet because girl likes dancing, in um, running, like after school sports activities and everything. But every single thing costs money. <coughs> you get. Every single thing, single thing costs money. And then, Lady Jade, my second daughter, is going to start school in January as well. So we are just looking at the thing. Oh, yeah, it's cool. We are living at the same And you will have to give up everything for them. We want to travel this December. We've been saving towards having a trip either to Ghana or um, either to Ghana or Gambia, right? We have been deciding by the end of next week we'll decide on where we are going finally, right? And <clears throat> yeah, and I'm seriously thinking of you know, without talking to my husband, thinking of my thinking to tell my husband that let's leave the trip, let's keep that money for next year because we don't know what is going to happen we don't know what's going to happen with the kids we don't know what's going to happen with the um, financing nigerian economy we don't know so let's just leave that as okay yes we've seen this money for travel but i mean we might need it for whatever else happens next year because we don't know even though there's still savings out of but this bulk money that we have tried to keep you know and um sorry let me just finish what i'm saying before i answer you guys questions so yeah these are the things that are my mind because I, I really know that my parents did a lot to get me to where I am. I remember that my house, if you're in Port Harcourt, my house when I grew up, I grew up in Aji. <clears throat> did not say not Aji Estate, the oil company. So I grew up inside the estates and I was going to school in Rumi Bekwe. If you're in Port Harcourt, you're in Port Harcourt, you know how far that is. And at that time, so my parents would do school runs almost more than an hour journey, depending on traffic, depending on the road and all of that, just to get me to the good school, get me to a school that they had like American curriculum, British curriculum, this one, this one, that one and everything. Then they sent me to school abroad, and um, not when they started abroad, but I got to Ogun State. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> but I got to Ogun State, my second school was in Bell, so we went all the way there and, you know, the cost of traveling to school was more than the, almost close to the cost of school fees because we're going by air, right? We are leaving Potaco to Lagos, drive to Lagos, then from Lagos we now drive to Ogun State and then we go to Paris to get into them. By the time I was done secondary school, I went to Canada. In Canada, I went to, and they paid for every single thing. And I'm just thinking that myself and my children, I say, so I'm going to live my life taking care of you. But that's what our parents did, they gave everything up for us. <clears throat> And when you not earn more, you still have to do more. I don't, I don't even know. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot. So let me just read a bit of a bit of a comment. Um, private school will humble you regardless of your country. Yes, I paid per term for my daughters also, and still have to pay for extra. Exactly. And the public school in Nigeria is nothing to write home about. It's nothing like. I have somebody who here who's claims she went to school, that like she finished school in the village, and she cannot tell the time. So it's, 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 it's a lot, it's a lot. So you have to look for the money to go to a really good school if you want them to compete on a global standard. And those schools know that they're, <coughs> they know that they're exploiting parents, but they do it anyway. You get exactly, they do it anyway. So it's a lot, public school in Nigeria is, is absolutely zero, exactly zero. But some people still go because that's the only choice they have. That's the only choice they have. So. You know, please give up this video a thumbs up. Yes, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. We are morphing into another conversation which I really like. So, um, it's crazy, but we try to give them the best exactly, even with the quality of the food, right? Even the quality of what you are eating. You can't, like, I rather not have meat than my children not eat. Do you get they must eat eggs if it's not eggs, it's chicken, it's not chicken, it's beef or goat meat or turkey. If I call for any reason, there's no meat in my house, there will be sausages or flans or things like that. You have to give your children the best kind of food. You have to make sure they're getting their vegetables again because a sick child is money that you don't need, you don't even have to spend. Do you get remember when Jackie fell sick really bad? The first time she fell sick, I don't I have a video, a video is on my channel that was in the hospital. I was even pregnant, I had to sleep in the hospital to be a that's the time I realized that oh, this thing we are, we are playing with our children that you say, oh, let them just eat the only money till night. I have to give a rule here that the only is only emergency food that if for any reason there's no indomie, there's no food in the house, that's when you bring out You cannot give my children indomie money at night because I'm not around. And I have to just give them indomie, they eat indomie, they eat. Ah. Are you serious? So we have to even, the quality of the food has to, like, you will see yourself, you won't eat broccoli, but your children will eat broccoli. And a head of broccoli in Nigeria, 3,500 naira. You guys saw my video. <coughs> When I went to Hyper City. Okay, um, 
Yes, we need to do a live on sources of income and money matters. Okay, maybe that's the next live we'll do. That's the next live we'll do because I'm trying my best, like several ways I'm trying my best to. So that's a live that we should actually do, I agree. I'll put it down maybe in the next month or so, December, because December period, that's another thing. You guys, if you're in Nigeria and watching this live, if you have any money aside, go and buy non-perishable food, okay? Buy your bag of rice, buy your bag of beans, whatever the thing you're using for Christmas, buy it now, because I can guarantee you that in December, people will cry. People will cry to look for food. I'm not joking, but even now, it's like this, December when they double, triple, quadruple the price. What are people going to do? I bought live chicken for 5,600 naira the other day. What? Chicken that we used to buy one line. I remember two Christmases they go or three. One line, one thousand nine. And that time it was really expensive. That's what we are seeing. Okay. Now my kitchen direct says, um, uh, sorry. Wait, what is it? Has YouTube paid you good money? Yes, actually, it has been paying gradually, gradually, gradually. I think I've made over two thousand dollars since I started. Yes, two thousand dollars since I started, but two, roughly one, yeah, two thousand about that. But that's not. I've been on YouTube two years for two years now, going on three years, so it should be more than that. But yeah, some videos do better, some videos don't. Even videos like I have a video with. 7,000 views. That video that I did with Jenna recently. Let me go to my analytics and confirm. Actually, if I didn't get Google Juice. Um, sorry. YouTube Studio. Sorry, I'm just checking it and all that. Uh, YouTube Studio. So I had that video with Jenna that is on 7,000 views now. Which ordinarily should be like, oh my god, 7k views, so they are doing so well. Okay, now that video with 7,000 views. Wait, wait, sorry, let me just get the exact figure. Has given me, I want to say, $9, I think. Let me just confirm. Last time I checked, I remember last time I checked that video. Oh no, my internet is slow right now. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So, where's that video? Fake live of Nigerian YouTubers. It has given me. Oh, sorry, it has gone again. It has given me. $9. I was right. Nine dollars, nine dollars ninety two cents, nine dollars ninety two cents. So there are some videos that will do better. <laughs> you guys will think, ah, Soti has plenty of views, Soti has this, Soti has that. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Depends on where people are watching your video from. It depends on the CPM and the RPM. So sometimes uh, this YouTube is a labor of you're looking at it as investment in the future because if you're looking at what you're earning now, it's not nothing is happening. Okay, nothing is really happening at the point at that point. So yeah. Our friends really did well for us, yes. Our friends really they did well. I can't keep, I, I need to thank them for all they've been doing because you guys, you guys, they've been doing so much. They've done so much. Uh, oh, thank you. My friend is my first super editing, though, you guys. Oh, I got five, five pounds. Thank you so much. This is my first super chat. Super thanks, super this. Thank you, Yomi Kitchen Direct. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm grateful. I'm so excited. Super something. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, in the way, only give them after a menu. Only, yes, only on the day you're tired. Exactly. That's what I told them. Because especially when I'm not around, I'm like, don't don't try it. But in the way, it's nothing. My parents paid from toddler in Bereton to MSC in Munich. I moved to use USA after I started over to getting a doctorate, seeing it student look. Can you imagine? Over 150 k Jesus. I pray the Lord makes it way for you. I pray the Lord releases blessings and finances for you. I pray the Lord lift this burden of debt over your life. It is well with you, Grace. Grace break. It is well with you. I mean, this is not choking because I have an auntie, a really close auntie. A family relative who student loan is when 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 it is choking is holding you down because every single money you make you can't save you can't invest you can't make because you're going to pay back and if you miss one payment it's now entering <clears throat> entering interest and before you know it you are spending your whole life 
paying back for education that everybody should get for free. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you think that parents did all this because if you count all the money that they paid, it's the same. Oh gosh, I pray that I release. I release breakthrough in your life, Grace. It is well with you. It is well with you, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now so now so we see Amo today, today, today. I bought a bucket of tomato for three thousand naira. And I was looking at this woman and I was very angry. I was angry. I said tomato. Tomato. Where they grow anyhow. I got to plant tomato in my balcony. I wish I could show you guys. I planted it because I was angry. I said, ah, how can? How can? Tomato. 3,500. I even had to, uh, no, it was 3,500. That one, it was a husband that was selling to me because my customer has a husband that also sells in the market with her. If the guy that one, doesn't need to reduce price, they give you like that. So that woman, she didn't wear, anytime I come, she wants to I'll give you for less. So I bought it for 3,000. Then I bought yam, they're selling me 3,700. I, I said, what for yam? I said, I'm going to go to my mother's house. The yam that she's bought, I'll use it and cook the pepper soup. And I didn't go, and that's when I didn't get the So things are crazy. Things are crazy. You cannot see a leg of goods because I like the flesh. Goat meat is the five, our favorite meat in the house. The leg is where all the flesh is. That leg of goods, you can't see it for 5,000 like You can't. Like, the less you open eye, the less you open eye like this and tell it again, because how can you before they not give you food? It's crazy, yo. Miss Alice, long time no see. How are you? Hi, 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 hi. How are you doing? Welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. Yes, mommy's yummy chicken. I say yummy chicken. <laughs> that chicken is not creamy. Yummy kitchen, yes. Two thousand dollars is not bad at all. But you know what? It could be better because some people in their first aid in their first aid months they made that same amount, right? So we just thank God for you know the movement. That's the thing. I'm excited not to compare myself with anybody else. My journey is very different. And the thing that's happening is that what is happening for me on YouTube guys is that YouTube is opening me up to other opportunities, right? So YouTube might not be clean as much as I want. I mean, it's two years now since we've been doing this, and it's not it's not the way I would like it to be. But I've had so many more opportunities from this YouTube in real life than from than YouTube itself. So I don't know if you guys remember that BBC UK, BBC that we know, BBC um, interviewed me about women's rights and rape in Nigeria and abuse in the entertainment industry and all of that. I've had clients from, oh, there's somebody that needs to reply an email said, some clients from this same YouTube. I've had opportunities and jobs from this same YouTube. I've started a mentorship program, you guys, I've started a mentorship program for this same YouTube. So I've realized that it is a stepping stone to expressing myself creatively in different areas as opposed to just being a YouTube and influencer content creator. If that makes any sense. So that I'm understanding my journey might be a di di bit different, that the people that are watching me that genuinely enjoy the value I bring to YouTube, people that, what am I saying? Okay, the YouTube, they collect, they, they, they converted the five pounds to Naira, and it's 2,600 Naira. I beg, I don't buy tomato now, Abby. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mommy Kitchen. I just said I was wondering what, what I'm missing on my head. But well, yeah, that's what YouTube has done for me. So I'm very grateful. Even friendships and relationships, you know, opportunities that come from YouTube. Joy. I somebody from Dubai sending me a whole foundation because you guys, that video where I opened the packet, Joy sent me. She sent me that beauty foundation. That foundation is selling for 25,000 naira in Nigeria currently. Okay? Imagine if I had to use it's not like I can't use my money to buy it, but the opportunity and the blessings that are coming from outside for this thing is what I'm really appreciative of. So thank you guys for all those who watch my videos to support me. That they don't skip the ads, all of that. I just thank God. I thank you and I thank God for the opportunity. <clears throat> yes, I pray to God to at least pay for bachelors for my kids. Exactly. I want to be able to do that for my kids. My parents did so much. I can't leave it all to them. I can't leave it all to uh, my kids. I have to do what they did for me. Nah, that's why you need to come and come to Nigeria and see what's going on. You need to come and see what's going on. Plantain, four fingers of plantain, one thousand naira. You guys have seen now. Eh? Four plum tomatoes. You say what? For eight k? Ah, she's the one that went to go and buy it. Too. Yeah. What do you mean? Four k? I'll be eight k. Yeah, you have to be joking. Which plum tomato? Is it that cherry tomato? I don't know what you're talking. I don't want to even think about it. Please, I beg you. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. So this question is for YouTubers on this live. Would you say it's easier to grow your channel as in as in Nigeria in abroad than when you're living in Nigeria? I'd actually want to know. Because sometimes you think okay, if you relocate, you have that initial relocation content and all of that, but does it really grow your channel? 
I don't know. Me, I know that it might be easier to get some brand deals because I have friends who maybe they relocated brands and they're locating them because it's easier to get their uh, posted their address, it's easier to work with them, same bank account, you don't have to do all this wire transfer, paper, all the stress of transferring currency from abroad to Nigeria. So that makes it a bit easier. And I, that's what I think also. I think that that might be the reason why it's easier to do better in Nigeria than in abroad than in Nigeria. It depends on the content you do, and personally, if people, people they like you, exactly, it's giving exposure, yes, Karen, it's giving, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's giving exposure, yes, it's giving exposure. Yes, because people are really, um, cheating, and people are really feeding on relocation content these days, oh, uh, how I was able to relocate to England, and um, what I needed to do, how to update my CV to Canadian CV, how to do this, how to do that, so um, it makes sense, right, that that kind of content, because a lot of people are looking in that direction, a lot of people are thinking about those things, and it gives your content variety. Like me now, then how, how many market vlogs can I do? You guys have seen what I typically buy in the markets. You guys have seen what I typically do on a day in my life. You see me cook several things, like it's it's a bit limiting. But when you travel abroad, I think oh, you have a lot more experiences, you have a lot more content to share, you have a lot of diversity in the kind of content you produce and all of that. So I think perhaps that that's why Hmm, Nazo doesn't agree. Nazo thinks that YouTubers in Nigeria are able to look. See, I think for YouTubers, especially Nigerians in abroad, you have to do content that Nigerians in Nigeria want to watch. So not a lot of people want to watch day in my life. Even if in that day in my life you're watching, you're doing, but I want to watch how we are able to, you know, do whatever, whatever to relocate to Los Angeles. People want to know about you, not your day in their life. They want to apropos how come you go to America, what's happening with your marriage, how my marriage did not survive, how I did it. Apropos, they like people like to be in your business. And that's why I think that initial. They like Apoko. Sorry, can you hear me now? <clears throat> Sorry, I was getting a phone call. No bets. <laughs> I even said, okay. Sorry, sorry. I was somebody was calling me. I don't answer the person. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> so I think that's what it is. Exactly. After relocation content, what next? But you know what happens is that after the relocation content, people are. Even though the views will drop, people are now more interested in. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So after the relocation, point, people are now more interested in you. So you've gathered some a, a bit of an audience. They've now come your way. So your work is now how do you now retain the new people that have come? Okay. How do you now retain the new people that have come to your area, that come to your side, and all of that? So that's what I think happens with a lot of people. <clears throat> Yeah. So that's Can you guys hear me? I've got some on that call now. <clears throat> this is why you say your phone is stressful. So let me see if I can answer with this. Sorry guys, I'm here. I got the Sorry guys, I'm here. I got the <laughs> I got a call. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I was saying so, and as well, I think that maybe do more cooking videos, more um, what do they call it? Life abroad is boring, like I agree, it's work, home, and repeats. But maybe grocery store falls, maybe how you feed in, um, what how and um, what you feed your family or family in a week, what you spend on grocery shopping, all those things that give a snippet into your life. I think that that's what people like to see because when I watch abroad content. That's for, those are some of the things I look out for. Like because especially because I live that boat, so I'm a bit interested in seeing people's like, oh, um, going to Walmart versus going to Target. How much will you buy? How much will you spend? All those kind of things and all of that and that kind of stuff. So I think oh, that that what I mean if you're doing vlog, that's what you should look into. 
<coughs> Sorry about the audio, guys. I will get me home. Uh, my favorite videos from me are the ones where you go to the market. Are you serious? Are you serious? Ah. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe I'll do more market. I just feel like it's a bit stagnant sometimes. Um, I think it's a bit like still, but I'll maybe I'll do another one like a full market video and everything because I know that a lot of people in the diaspora actually miss being able to go to the markets, getting affordable food and groceries and stuff, affordable in culture and all of that. So they like to see some of those kinds of videos. So maybe, <coughs> um, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I want to just sit down videos. Yes, I know that the, the vlogs might be a bit, yeah, but I want to sit down videos because it's not your fault. It's because life is always kind of repetitive. So maybe a few things that people want to watch. You know. Yeah, is good. I say every day I'm getting relocation video back to back to back. Like, it's recommending people that are relocating. And it's some, I'm like, I don't want to relocate. I don't hire anyone. It's okay. But they are seeing that a lot of people are interested because a lot of people want to relocate. So they want to know how people did it and all of that. You know, <clears throat> yeah, so let me see what the other thing is. After the education, for the one that is in the address, it doesn't really do well because that was the story. True, let me find it. Yes, that's a deal. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, and halls, and halls, like market halls or clothing. I know that people like the clothing hall, but it's people that do halls. They can only work abroad because a lot of people that do polls abroad, they return the clothes and get their money back. <laughs> Imagine me using my civil servant salary <laughs> to go have a deal haul from all these people. Ah, uh -uh. yeah, how about, how about guys, how about, it's too much, it's too much. Well, yeah, a lot of people like, you know, my sister is an influencer in um, London, so she's a perfume influencer. Yeah, I met her before, she's a fragrance influencer. And she's doing really well. She has she almost close to forty k on Instagram, okay, and yeah, and you can tell she will tell you that some people there uh, they will buy only sample of fragrance and not buy the whole fragrance. They do a whole review. There are so many ways you can get around some things to just because you're just doing content to bring visibility to your channel. But you see Nigeria, <clears throat> you see Nigeria, you cannot do all of that, okay. I think they need to they need to show. I need, I think they need the show, the culture show. Hmm, maybe. Okay. He <laughs> says it's very boring. What time is the movie? I don't even know. This is where they say, he says whenever he comes from the movie, comes from the wedding, we will now look at the time for the movie and we go. So if I know the movie today, said we are looking at it. But if you wanted a nice movie, like maybe 8 o'clock, so I'll see when they're showing it. So like we can just do like a date night kind of thing at once, you know, and then do the do after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't record until. <clears throat> I go on vacation on real vacation. I do something interesting at home. Hmm. You guys would be actually surprised though. There are people that look at do you guys watch the Travis family? Travis, Judy and Benji and all their five kids. Their life is extremely boring. Sometimes literally a 12 minute vlog is literally she waking up, doing laundry, making food for the kids, just to return for like two minutes, putting the kids to bed, and then they got some 50,000 views. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But the then again, she has 1.2 million subscribers, so she has loyal fans, so I get. <clears throat> it's true, okay, and halls, okay. Because moving to another place is not easy, yes. I brought life is boring. I think it's boring, but I brought, life, I brought life is boring, and that's why the blogs are not that catchy. You have to be intentional about creating interesting content to do it. That's why I would rather do sit down videos. But well, the sit down videos do well for you now, so that's the thing. They do it. Well. Because even me, I love, I'd rather sit down videos than vlog. I can talk for days. You guys, I've been talking for over two hours. Okay? <laughs> I've been talking for days. I enjoy that. That's something that I personally love. But how well do they do for you? Because you have to kind of, I was looking at, uh, uh, watching a video recently. Uh, and showing the doing research and showing things about like how what kind of views will do well for your channel, how to generate the views for your channel and everything. You have to assess what is working for you as opposed to what you see most people to watch, right? So you can do a sit down video, how I relocated from Nigeria to LA, if you've not done it before, um how the location affected my family, how I, how long it took me to adjust and blah 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 blah. That might bring more people to your channel, child, but we'll see. 
Yes, but abroad you are in a rush to go as you go to different supermarkets. That's also social because you have to kids at home and lots of things are going home and all of that. Like the video, people of the most high. Yes, yes, yes. Like the video. All of you that just coming, please like the video. We have been here for a while. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you are right. Culture shock will be great content. Exactly. You know, talk about culture shock. What's your experience? What's from the market? Okay, I'm a. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. Abroad, you can do shop and return. Nigeria, you cannot do shop and return. You know. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Chinema says, I love social sit down videos. Me too. I love my sit down. I like to do that. I can watch them several times. Like, oh, okay. You know, this place, I was talking too fast. Maybe next time I will calm down. You know, I feel like I provide the most value. I give the most value in my sit down videos. <clears throat> Even though some people love my vlogs too. <clears throat> but they don't do as well, like I was saying. They do okay, but not as well as vlogs, you know. Like, we said, I said there was a time that we are posting a video before the next one I wake up, I was, and I was got to like 1,000 views at least, minimum. You know. Now, get that 1,000 views. I was like, are you serious? What's the video now? My mother was like, well, can I take the video to your home and say, please, let me put it on your TV so you can, so you can watch? But that happens, yes. Yeah, so, sometimes you just have to check what your point, your. Your viewers enjoy right and what you're producing <clears throat> and compare with everything that you're doing you know so and then she also made a point clearly she made a point of going to watch people that you love and checking their videos like which of their videos did go is there any way you can recreate the same content in your own way okay so if you look at um who now who do i like <clears throat> mm. Uh, so, so this story time. All the story that I gave you here could have been a video, but I gave you guys for free. <laughs> I gave you guys for free. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, you can look at your fame now. Maybe um, you know, Dinah's baby mama dance, okay, or um, uh, Nello's this recent Nello's video. I want to actually try that and see if it's not for the views. Actually, I want to try that for my skin because my skin has been breaking out the blackhead removal thing and all of that. You can look at people that you genuinely love, and how can you create that content or you people you watch. You know, how can you create that content and <clears throat> tailor it to your own life? See, you're making it direct. See, that's the, the, the same thing is, is for me too because anytime I go grocery shopping, I'm on a timer because I mean, I need to come home and cook, I need to come home and take care of the kids, I need to come home and get to work or edit or whatever. So, when I vlog my shopping, I don't vlog the supermarket as much as I vlog the halls, if that makes sense. So, I deliberately like show a few clips of a few clips of myself at this grocery store or whatever I'm doing and then I come home and take my time and show you guys what I've got so that that way I know that I have a target of 30 minutes in this store one hour in this store I can't I can't miss that because I have to come home I have so many other things I need to do and when I come home as I'm unpacking ordinarily I'll use 10 extra minutes 20 minutes extra to talk about what I bought and the prices and all that and you have a full vlog that's a video and there are a lot of YouTubers that do that, a lot of abroad YouTubers that do that. This new, um, this family that has six children, that has five children or something, and their parent, mom and dad with five children or seven children, something like that. They big, all these big families, what they thrive on, they show their grocery haul for the week, what we spend on grocery for the week, how I feed my kids for the week. They, 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 they. It's just supposed camera, their quality is not that great. They are not even using any better camera. It's normal, those normal cameras we used to use back in the day. Not DSLR, not mirror cameras. Not regular cameras, they put it there, film their video or put their content, people are hitting this up. Oh, I'm, are you homeschooling your kids? A lot of abroad moms homeschool their kids. I watch a lot of those channels because I need to look for entertaining and engaging and also learning things for my kids when they're on vacation or when they're home and all of that kind of stuff. So you guys, those are the content that I think that people abroad, as well if you're a mom and you want to vlog, you should do. Guys, hold on, let me just plug my phone. Just one minute. One minute.
guys. Sorry. I had to quickly go charge my phone before it dies. Okay, so do you guys agree with me with the content suggestions? And also, I think that will help you. It's why since you have a big family actually. So it might help. You can even talk about their development, maybe like how they were in Nigeria, Nigerian schools for abroad schools, stuff like that. <coughs> it might actually help you. <coughs> It might actually help with the views as well. Um, I love sorting sit down videos, collab videos, and fashion videos. Thank you, the collab videos have been nice. <clears throat> I've never become bold enough to um, reach out to fellow YouTubers <laughs> before I just be my show. Like, okay, I'm gonna do me. <laughs> and if you is not enough, you need to spread your wings and fly, girl. And sometimes you guys don't even start a podcast channel. I've been thinking about it seriously because all this talk can be a podcast episode. Why not? <laughs> and so I've been thinking about it seriously. And it's just that I don't, I don't want to just start another thing and then leave it hanging. I want to actually legit that <clears throat> follow through. And so I want to do it with somebody else. <laughs> and I will say I just came back home. Um, okay. Thank you. Sincerely, AJ, AJG has summarized everything that I've just said as well. So just look at what she said. I was talking about for large families like yours, um, if you do hauls, grocery hauls, weekly hauls, especially weekly hauls, how you feed your large family, how much you spend your large family, take us to the Walmart, <coughs> take us to Target or your local grocery store, um, what you cook for them, how you make breakfast, your morning routine, you show, literally you show how you make breakfast for five, and how many kids do you have? I think four or five, right? You show breakfast, how you make for each of them, how you pack their school bag. I watch those videos, actually, really just to me. Even though I only have two children, I actually enjoy watching them. <clears throat> exactly. Yes, yeah, the process of getting the school, children into school, how you're able to find the right school for your kids. I don't know if you have all that content in the past, but you know, YouTube, eh, the beauty of it is that you can recycle your content. Nobody's gonna know. Even if they know, you will make it in a fresh way. <clears throat> yeah, you do it in a fresh way. You know that it's it's not um mm. yes, exactly. BA says another thing, yes. You know, like uh, for Riro now or even vegetable soup, you can it's hard to get water leaf, you know, fresh and all of that. So how you use you, you replace it with kale and it becomes out nice, cooking with all those kind of things, like just something different, you know, it makes a difference. I watch a lot of people like that. They're, they're, this couple, um, Jane and Jack, I mean Jack and Jane or something. Ha! Ah, she makes um, um, Nigerian food for her um, mixed race daughter. And all that. Those kind of things that are not in my spell of in <laughs> entertainment, but I like them. Like not what you ordinary thing that was, but that's what I got this work sometimes. So. I've got content, it can be interesting, it can be your day-to-day -day life, not you, not necessarily about you, your person, but the things you do in your day-to-day -day life might make it, you know, and then even relocation, relocation content, <coughs> <coughs> even if you've been in the US for some time, some people still be, you'll still take your knowledge for value that, okay, five years later, relocating, what's the difference, what has changed, do I regret it or do I not regret it? I have a video that did about 2K something views, I've left Canada for I left Canada in 2013, but I talked, talked about how um, relocation from Canada affected me, and that video did okay, two point something views. One of my videos that see today is making me some kind of money, even though it's more money. <clears throat> yeah, even um, uh, what do you call it? It's small money. It's not a lot of money, but my birth story. Okay, my birth story. How I compared. <coughs> which kind of cough is this now? How about <clears throat> I compared um. Giving birth in Nigeria to giving birth abroad. If you know the amount of people that send me messages, the number of people that send me messages, oh, which hospitals did you people use? Which doctor did you use? What do you recommend? Do you recommend this? How do you get your visa? Did you, did you, did you, they all watch the video, they, the video is still making money. It might not be much, but it's making small, small money. So there are some content like that that is relevant and is continue to be relevant for people that are making the same life journey that you made, right? So I hope it helps. I hope it helps. I don't I don't to know YouTube stuff like that. I'm still, you know, getting on there. But as someone who um 
Uh, yeah, exactly. It seems like such a great video idea. What would you do differently if you were relocating to it? Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Maybe I should even do that. Hmm. That's a good one. I'll talk about I'll think about it. I maybe have some points down to yeah, that's a good one. It's a really good one. <clears throat> so yeah. Who else wants us to talk about their channel though? Before we go. We are going on three hours. Let me use this time to check movie time and send my husband the text that boy how far. Can we still go in? Because we really wanted to watch during the opening, but <coughs> we were busy yesterday. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Yes, cooking food abroad is also very good. When you compare, um, or even um, market, uh, Nigerian market, Nigeria, um, <coughs> Nigerian market or Nigerian uh, African food hall, African food store hall. In Los Angeles, California. I know Abby and family does that a lot. I actually enjoy watching her food for all when she goes food grocery shopping for the mom. Because I remember when I first started watching her, that's Abby and family. Um, their grocery their grocery shop used to be about four hundred dollars uh, or so around that time, and now she's spending almost one thousand dollars. So it's, it's visible. You can actually see the change. You can actually see what they are going through. You can also see how their life has improved to the fact that they can even afford that, you know. That is really, really, it's something I don't know why I enjoy it, but I like watching it. So I like to see, oh, they have this thing. Because, you know, there are some things that they, don't, they have abroad, they don't have in Nigeria. But I'll tell you how many times I look for smoked turkey in this port I have not seen smoked turkey anywhere. Okay, anywhere. In, I have seen smoked chicken, I have seen other things, but smoked turkey I have not seen, and it's everywhere in the UK and the US, so I don't know, yes, my Yomi Kitchen, I know that you live in the UK, I used to live in London, you see, even, even in London and even in, in the US, it's completely different, in London, I was still able to get fresh Nigerian food, like, I was still Ubu fresh Ubu, like, there's still on this time and all of that, but in, it's not part of the US, Canada is even the worst, you can never see fresh anything, everything is frozen and frozen solid, so, we can talk about those things, <clears throat> yeah, when you're bulk cooking for your family, all of that, do that. So when I'm checking my movie time, so guys. Yes, in the UK they have all the fresh like my house will literally how many minutes from the African shop and then how many minutes from the but the butcher. It was so convenient, man. Let me tell you. I loved I loved living like if I was gonna relocate anywhere, I'll go to London. I loved <laughs> I really enjoyed going to live in London. Ah, my church was walking distance and I lived in East London, so it was quite nice. But I didn't really enjoy living in Canada, to be honest with you. The cold was too much and I didn't have a car. And the transportation actually depends on where you live, Sha. But the transportation, uh, what did they call it now? So, what is this? I'm looking for me. I'm looking for me. Movie time now. So what are you guys saying? Okay. Are you serious? Plantain is. Uh, yes, they have all the fresh. So what about spiritual content? When you missed that, I remember you mentioned something about spiritual content. And you talk about spiritual. Yes, I filmed two videos on that. See, it's not that I want to do a spiritual content like on its own. I want you to watch me and I don't know how to explain it. I don't explain, but I actually feel to sit down with you that I won't be going up tomorrow about the waiting season and waiting time of waiting and all of that. So you guys should check that out. Please watch it too. Because I'm talking about God, the woman should watch it. I sprinkle Holy Spirit, Holy Holy was on you guys. So yes, I'm working on that. I'm working on doing all of that. And I'm filming I'm going to film a video on <coughs> my how I became born again. Okay, my spiritual journey so far and all of that and some other, you know, I've been weary about it but you know yeah i'll try i'll do that but yeah it's in the works i've done two um do you know the stress of do you know how much turkey costs currently <laughs> turkey in nigeria is ridiculously expensive what it is ridiculously expensive and it's always the wink and like where's the rest of the turkey hello turkey has other parts <laughs> 
Wait, it's just the turkey. It is so expensive. Mm. I know that's all. I will do the special content, okay? I promise. I promise. Mm. Mm. Yes, I promise. Plantain is not. It wasn't like that. It was like four for one pound when I was. And that was 2018. Four for one pound. Or even five for one pound for plantain back then. I remember. The one that was always so expensive was mango. Mangoes are so expensive in the UK. It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Ah, they are so expensive. They no. But I don't know how. And then goat meat. Goat, goat meat. They will give you lamb and tell you that it's good. Fake goat meat. So yeah. Uh, Abby's videos have definitely improved. Meaning they are spending almost 1000 Yes, exactly. Every time I watch. That's exactly it. So you can tell that they've gone through a journey. They've gone through a process and they are growing okay and it can also tell you that the food is also increasing the cost of food is also increasing so it's not the fact that it's not just the fact that they can afford it now it's that the fact that the thing they are buying then is now almost double the price now you know so some of us like spiritual content now don't trust me just watch out for uh tomorrow's video okay six o'clock time be there or be square please like this video guys thank you thank you thank you hi annie welcome back I'm in London, but I want to move if I can in the future. I've stayed here for so many years. Yeah, my sister is in London currently. Yeah, I like, I really like London. I live in East London, Canning Town. So literally, everything was close to everything. So it wasn't bad for me. <clears throat> yeah, turkeys are really expensive. So to not smoke it on top, Caroline, will be double the cost of what you're doing, okay? Turkey is cheaper in the USA. I was in Abuja in July. I told you what. <clears throat> You cannot buy turkey. It's only rich people that eat turkey, yo. It's only rich people that like, eat turkey. It is. <laughs> I didn't even bother myself. But I always ask, where are the other parts of the turkey? Why is it only the wing? Why? Please. The wing is both. I bet let's not get to my turkey uh, conspiracy. Because I don't know what you are doing with the other parts of the turkey, please. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, turkey is cheaper in the USA. I cannot believe it, too. Mango is now £3. Are you serious? Yam is 11 pounds. Yam used to be 5 pounds and below. Yam used to be 5 pounds. Those beside me. There was a shop, this guy, I don't even know. What shop like this beside me? And then one Nigerian restaurant and a butcher back there. So it used to be so affordable. And it's not like I'm eating yam every day anyway. But when you're eating, you have options. Now, wow, plantain that is also plantain that we see every day. Because even the, actually, you know the funny thing, plantain is also expensive here too. I think that's expensive. But what I do is that I give somebody money to go to the village where they are bringing the plantain from. So we try to buy it, buy it from the direct source and not from what people that are reselling. Because even the markets, the main markets are cheaper than the markets that are your street size markets and all of that. So you have to find the main source, buy from there to reduce your cost. But sometimes when you look at it now, that the price of giving that person transport to go there and buy the plantain or whatever the thing they are buying and then come back with it is almost equal to the price of what you would buy here. So do you rather just buy directly <coughs> from the market or still go to the main farmer, the main source and all that? So, oh no, it's a lot, it's a lot. But thankfully, my husband's really, they grow a lot of plantains from a chain. They have plantain and they have garlic. So I typically, you know, get from them. Whenever anybody's traveling to the village, just like, okay, please give me for a cheaper price and they buy from me and all of that. So, yeah. Okay. Now, wow. Well, African food is more expensive than abroad. We have to factor in the... Of course, Taylor. Yes, Taylor. It's definitely more expensive. I'm very aware of that. But I'm saying for the cost of living here and for the kind of wages we earn in Nigeria, it's also really expensive too. So while we are shouting in Nigeria, I, I can imagine what you guys are doing for your abroad. I mean, I mean now, I've lived in all three major relocation countries. I've lived in Canada, I've lived in the UK, and I've lived in the US. In the US, you cannot even find like African food. You will see plantain in Walmart. Uh -huh. That's also awesome. nice. You see okra. I prefer okra in Walmart from African food actually. It was cheaper. Or Chinese Chinese stores. I prefer okra from there and all that. But to go to the um African store with a lot, it will lot, a lot of money, a lot of time, because a lot of them are not even in the city and everything. But yeah, <coughs> yeah, so mm. I have to go to the store today. I want to, you can't, hmm. my sister lives alone in London and she lives in, in um, central London because it's close to her school, so she doesn't want to use the money to, for transportation. You know, to whatever, and let me tell you, every day she's complaining. Like, every day she's telling my dad, you that her money has free. That money, like, are you joking? And the change makes it crazy. A lot of things are happening. <clears throat> oh, I see. Crystal Zone says here in Germany, they package the turkey wings and breast separately. 
<coughs> and process the other parts as salami. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so they use the other parts. We don't see bread, so it's only talking uh, big and sometimes the drumstick. But even the drumstick is not the full drumstick, it's the bony part. Like, I don't know what the sense was in Nigeria because a lot of the produce that we get here is inferior. They will never allow it abroad. They will never, FDA and all the other regulatory bodies will never allow such things abroad. So I don't know. Nigeria, we, we just sit in. <laughs> We just do anyhow, they do anyhow to us and we just take it anyhow. <clears throat> I love cold turkey because you have other parts, right? The turkey, the frozen turkey that they give us, I don't enjoy it. When you cook cold turkey, I enjoy it more than when I get the frozen one. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. And yes, currently here, we eat turkey in December. I mean, I grew up eating turkey, but I know that it's not common for a lot of Nigerian homes. But turkey is expensive. The whole turkey, as of last year, was 35k, the whole turkey. So this year, I'm sure it's going up to 50k, because a ram, a, a full ram is 70k. Then cows, some people are selling for 200k or something. <clears throat> so I don't know. <clears throat> here in Germany, they package the turkey. Okay, I read that. I only know turkey rings. Okay. It's best to go to ethnic grocery stores in the USA. They have the best variety. Even going to Asian or Hispanic stores, tell a lot of what you might be looking for. Exactly. That's what I did. Whenever I was like, whatever, I prefer Chinese, Asian stores. They don't have the best cuts of beef because the regular grocery stores, the beef they used to sell is this chewing beef that doesn't have any flavor. So when you buy beef uh, sheen, that's the part that has some of the sinew, some of the muscle. It had a lot, even now I just bought some, it had a lot of flavor and all of that. So the Asian stores have a lot of what we are looking for already. You know, and they even the Pakistani East Indian those who they have what they are the ones that import most of the things. So you can get what you're looking for there. You know. <clears throat> Birds are coming very well. We also have variety of stuff. I've never seen salami in Nigeria, but it's possible that it's Lagos. But I don't know. No, that's nice. We don't we have deli meat. We don't even really have deli meat. We don't even spa and all those places that not really paid attention. But it's possible that we have that here. Yeah. yeah, they probably possess it. Even for sausages, so I know that there's some we have turkey sausage and all that. So perhaps the other parts of Turkey are used for that. And again, I don't know how we're talking about turkey now. <laughs> we are not talking about turkey. Ah guys, so it's already past six. Wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> yes, exactly, Carolyn. The texture changes when it's frozen. It seems to get exactly. There's a difference. I prefer. I know my, my mom's cold when she makes whole turkey for Christmas or New Year or any special birthday. It is so good. It is so good. They might now shred some of the bits that the leftovers and make a sauce or gravy out of it. It's amazing. But you see this packaged stuff. I can't. I can't get behind it. I cannot. I want to buy chicken. Oh, prefer the goat meat. I'd rather do that. I will not do turkey. I will not do turkey. It doesn't make sense. Okay, guys. I think we're good. Do you want to talk about something else? My kids are still. I don't know why they are sissy. That means... Hmm, God, no. Let me not check on them, you guys. It's when you pass it, that these children are not shouting. Nobody's coming out. Hey, <laughs> God. I mean, I'm going to do night with you today. I'm going to do with you. <clears throat> I'm going to do this show. All right, guys, I enjoyed this chat. I enjoyed this chat. So two points that we're taking out of here that we're going to do a money and streams of income video <coughs> next live. I'm going to note it down. And then um, those of us who are YouTubers here, just keep pushing. Just keep doing your best. Okay, just know that YouTube is not an end in itself. That's what I've learned over time. It's not an end in itself. It's an opportunity to grow. Okay, <clears throat> it's an opportunity to grow, it's an opportunity to um, market yourself, okay, for whatever you're doing, whatever your business. So, you have to have something doing while you are doing YouTube and expo express it all the time, talk about it all the time. So, people know that, okay, this person does this, right? This person does this. I know people who are patronize other people because from their YouTube channel and all that. So, please, let's try our best to, you know. Market ourselves, keep pushing. One day you know too. Amala, is it expensive? No, the Amala was not expensive. It's the meat that was expensive. The Amala was like two hundred naira for a scoop, so it was affordable. But you see those big, big meals that they were giving us. One piece of a uh, cow leg was one thousand two hundred naira. One piece, one piece, one, one. So it was expensive. Yeah, the Amala was a bit expensive. 
in, in total, the soup and everything else is not. But you know, people like Amala with the meat. The idea of Amala goes with a lot of meat and a lot of many, many. So that's there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, guys, I think we should end this now. I think we should end the live stream. I really enjoyed this. Like, I'm really having conversations <laughs> with you guys in real time. Please, 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 when I post my regular videos, please, guys, even if you don't want to comment, I really would like if you comment on the videos. But if you don't want to comment, just give me a thumbs up and share the video. Just do that for me so that more people can, you know, come to the family and see the videos, okay? I'm grateful. And if you're watching this video now, please watch the ad as well, because I try to make this video more in time as well, so we can make some more happiness. We're talking about dreams of income <coughs> and providing for our kids as well, so let's try to do that. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye. But let me get all the comments that um, this lady made. I just want to back that you now. What will you do differently in any way? Hi baby. Baby, let's go. What time is the movie? Yeah, I'll be checking out. Eh? Yeah, let's go right now. Okay, let me get it. Let me just say bye. Okay. All right, bye guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Where is it? How do you end the life? Okay, I have to start this soon. <laughs>